What's going on everybody? JuicyTaz201 here, bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are creating one Vanderbilt. I'm so happy to be bringing this video to you all today. It has been months of hard work and attention to detail to get this, what you see, uh, correct and uh, like the real thing in New York City. Uh, so for anybody who doesn't know what one Vanderbilt is, it is a brand new freshly open building in New York City, which opened in 2020. A little background knowledge, uh, it's about 1,401 feet tall, you know, that extra one foot kind of triggers me, it should just be 1,400, but hey, can't win them all. Um, but anyways, so it's a 67 story super tall skyscraper on 42nd Street and Vanderbilt Avenue in Midtown Manhattan, as I said. Uh, it's actually next door to the Grand Central Station, which is an uh, iconic train station, and I, I think anybody watching the video pretty much knows what Grand Central is, and if you don't, just pretend you do. Um, <laughs> so we are going to get right into the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also, all my social media can be found down below in the description and my channel bio, but check out my Instagram. I post a lot of up-and-coming tutorials or pictures of my city and just channel news in general. We also have a very successful Xbox club. Uh, I think it's near 3,000 members at this point in time, but that's called Juicy Taz 201 fan page on Xbox. Also, check out my Discord, which is always active, and I'm usually always talking in there, so check out my Discord, which is also down in the description. Everything's in the description, all my social media platforms, so you can find that there. So, without further ado, let's start this tutorial. Now, um, before we get into it, it is a pretty good-sized building, so this is the amount of room you're going to need. The base is 47 by 45 blocks in size. That is not the building footprint, but that's size you need. Also, you need the additional room for the glass panes, which could sit on the sidewalk if you're making in the world and you're, you know, you don't have the room. It, uh, the, the glass panes can sit on the sidewalk. So it's 49 by 47 total with the glass panes on the building. Uh, also, the height of the building is 256 on a traditional super flat world, which makes the building 253 tall. And if it doesn't fit in your world currently, you can still build the tutorial uh, when they raise the height limit, you can finish it off then. As you all see here, most of the clips show that I used light gray glass for the main facade of the building. Also, I am showing a clip of light blue glass. I could not decide which one to use for this video, but I wanted to change it up, and I thought the light gray glass represented the building uh, more than the, the blue, but the blue does look really good too, so it's really up to you all uh, which glass you use today for your design. Uh, it won't bother me either way. I think both look good. Okay, what you'll need today are a few basic blocks. We need white concrete, light gray concrete, light gray stained glass, gray stained glass pane, stone slab, stone, light gray stained glass pane, and gray concrete. Uh, these are just a few of the materials we'll be using. We'll probably expand more on it later, which will be the wood that you see below there. Um, so we're building next door to the, the prototype, and we are going to build right here. This is for my own help, so, I'm, so I know exactly what I'm doing. I want to make sure I'm making no mistakes. As we look over here, you guys can see that I already added the footprint, what we'll be making right away, and I'll be counting off what I did right here. Now, uh, use the materials that you see and put it in the ground. Uh, let me just distinguish where the front is. This is considered the front right here and right here. This is the main entrance of the building, and you can see over there, it's the more squarish, rectangular area. That's the main entrance right here. From what I took away from the building in real life, and there's like a TD bank or something like that right over here at the moment. So this will be the corner, the main, sorry if I scared you there, <laughs> the main entrance corner right here, this will be the main corner. And to make sure you're positioning it right in your world if you want it a certain way. So let's start counting. So break into the ground or above ground, however you want to do this. Now, since I already have the blocks in the ground, I'm going to use what I see right here, and I'm going to count off. So I'm just going to build on top of this. Now don't build like this above the ground like I'm doing. This will eventually be glass right here uh, above the white concrete, and then I'll break what I'm doing. But we're just going to be counting the footprint first. So get your white concrete out or white material, whatever you want to use, and here we go. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 35 for the first number of the tutorial, 35 long. Okay, so we're going to count off here. We already have this right there, but we'll count off 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. A total of 18 for the white blocks right here, which will be in the ground, as I said. Okay, now get your light concrete out, light gray concrete out, and place one right there at the end, and then place one inner, one inner right there. This will be the back entrance of the building. Okay, get your white concrete back out, and in the ground, count another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven long. 
that allows for two doors, two door entrances right here. Okay, get your light gray concrete back out and add another one in there at the end and then put one right there. And it's the same thing like we did over there in the style. So count off 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have 18 white blocks, which that is accurate with over here because it's 18 long. We counted 17 because we already had that end one, but 18 total and 18 over there, and there should be seven white. Okay, let's count more. Get your white concrete back out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, which will be a total of 15. Sorry for any lag that occurs during the video. Uh, I have so many programs that run when I record. Uh, so anyways, light gray concrete back out. Now count one right there at the end here. 1, 2, 3. So we went back 3. Now count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 1, 2. And that's pretty simple right there. So making sure I'm backing up so you guys can see what I did right here. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 in the middle. And then, you know, you have the 2. Depends how you really count it, but I'm trying to count in every way possible so you all have the right number. Get your white concrete back out. So count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 white. Let's go over another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. That is quite exhausting, uh, and it's a total of 35. If, if your total number is an even number, you're doing it wrong, something went wrong. I made the building an odd number so it has a nice, you know, center point. Okay, so get your white back out. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Five from there. We already had that end one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Let me make sure I counted that right. Uh, so we already had that there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Okay. And then it's a total of nine from over here. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three. Okay, so since I already have that in the ground, I already had my layout ready, I'm just going to break what I did right here on top. I just wanted to count it so you all could see how many blocks wide it is. And I'm going to cut um, that out and we will start on the glass facade. Okay, so that is ready to go and we are going to start with the glass. As you see right here, I already started. Uh, it's pretty simple, that's why I laid this already down. Uh, so right starting at this block right here that we already laid down in the front, oops, I threw that, no littering. <laughs> um, you're going to put down 13 blocks high of light gray glass. Yeah, light gray stained glass, sorry. Uh, but yes, you're going to lay down 13 high of that, and it's going to wrap around over to here. And I just thought doing that off camera was fine because it's quite simple. So if you need to pause to do that, you may, but we are going to start right away with the main entrance. So there is actually a subway entrance right here that goes to the underground, you know, subway. So we're going to count over three. So you have the one, uh, one, two, three, and then we are going to go up four with the gray concrete. Four, break one more, break one more. There you go. And now you have one of the entrances like that. Okay, now go over here. You're going to count over seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I just want to check. I want to check uh, over here just to make sure that's correct. It's really not a big big deal, but I do it because I want the glass panes to line up with the with the entrance, so it looks nice, you know. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, so we're correct. One, make sure. <laughs> So let's go over here. Let's go back to our model we're making. This takes a while because it's kind of spread out in the world. So let's make that. So we already have the one right there. So two, three, four. Okay. And leave it like that for right now. Break the windows so we don't really have to count here. Okay. Now like this. Do what we did over there. I'll do a final count how big this is. 
Okay. So the interior glass right here should be seven long. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine long of the gray concrete. Get your polished blackstone slab out or stone slab, it's up to you, and put it right there. I can't remember if I did one for this one over there. I don't think I did, but I, I'll check on it then. Okay, so we have that now. The main entrance is right there. Get your light gray concrete out and bring it to the same height as the glass, which is 13. And we are going to do that with the other concrete right here. Oops, I'll, I'll break that one up there. And up here is a nice little terrace, I believe. It's a, a little sitting area. I don't know what, what quite it is yet. I haven't done uh, much research on the inside of the building, what takes place inside. I know it's mainly business, but there is some, like, you know, dining, of course. But it's a beautiful building. Beautiful interior as well. It's modernism done right. Second wave modernism done right. And so, as I said, we're bringing this up 13 blocks. And excuse my moments of silence. I don't like being quiet too often while recording. But uh, for tutorials, it's necessary sometimes. Sorry if you guys hear my remote as well. It's quite close to my mic, but I try to keep it far enough away. Okay, now that we have that done, get your gray stained glass pane out. And start with the corner right here. This is for detailing. This will go up the whole entire building. We're going to be using the gray stained glass panes for it. Now, if you don't want to use it, that's fine too. But I like how it gives the building like you know, lines. And you can even see the lines a little bit from here. And every other one you just do it with. This is how it's going to be the whole entire tutorial, every other block. So they don't connect, you know. Oopsies. Almost at the end, I probably don't need to show me doing all this. Yeah, I'm going to do that off camera, but every other one I'm going to be doing, of course. As you see, I'm just marking out where they're going to be. And this is what I meant by this adds the extra block onto the building space from earlier. Okay, you have that. Okay, now this side changes, changes a little bit, changes a tiny bit. So take your gray, light, light gray stained, uh, I'm saying stained, sorry, light gray concrete out, and you're going to do this to the top too, like that, and bring that around, bring that right to the edge here, yeah, right there, I'm eyeing it up. Okay, now count up one, two, three, and put one right here. This is the back side of the building. Um, I really could not find any pictures of this part of the building. I, I looked everywhere. So the design might change in the future if I ever do the interior. I might update this part, but this is what I took from the back side. Not much going on. And we're just going to use the light gray concrete. Or not gray, <laughs> light gray glass, I'm sorry, to fill it in. You see what I'm doing. Sometimes I misspeak. But anything major will be cut out, don't worry. Okay, we have that there. Okay, this is going to continue around this back portion, which is the other uh, back side of the building, which has an uh, entrance. This side doesn't really have an entrance. It has, like, you know, um, commercial entrance for other reasons. Okay, and get your glass panes out and just do what we did to the other side. It's every other. Oh, we start off with the corner. And these lines will actually match up with the building's lines, the whole entire building. I want to make sure I had that, you know, was, you know, followed a certain, certain pattern, if you know what I mean. So we're going to fill this up three as well. Same patterns going to follow. We just right did right there. And I don't believe I need to count this since we already have the footprint, but I'll do it again. So uh, you have the glass, which is one, 
you already have the 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And just keep filling it up. I'll do number checks every so often like that to make sure it's all correct. And get your light gray concrete out and just lay two on top like this. The back side really isn't accessible for anybody except for maintenance in real life. Get your gray concrete back out and connect to the top right here. Right here you're going to do almost the same. You're going to go up uh, one block from the top. So, oopsies, right here. Go over a little bit, do the same thing. Connect them. Voila. Okay, over here now, you're going to go up one block higher. We're mirroring what we did over here to over here. Almost, almost we're mirroring. Actually, we're, we are mirroring completely. <laughs> Put glass back out, go to this corner over here, which is the front now, which is the TD bank, I, I, I presume it is. Go up three, two, three, light gray concrete, and then go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, seven, and then one more, and then you have the two there. Total high, let's count how total how high the total is. It should be 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, bring this design right over. And fill this all in with the glass. So I'm not going to do this all on camera to save time. It's already going to be a long video, I'm sure. At this point in time, I have no idea how long it is. And every other one gets filled uh, up the building. You know, you continue it up to right there. Yeah, you don't have to go up the whole entire way there. So every other. That's what we have so far. Over here, fill it on the end. You know, and imagine the glass is already here. Do the glass panes when the, the main block's already put in. Makes it much easier. Okay, uh, I forgot to add the extra block right here. If you're able to use a clone, you know, the structure block and just copy it over to there. Okay, that's what we have so far. And now you see this, this entrance right here is kind of barren, so you're going to do this. Bring continue this line right here. And I'm going to get an upside down step, uh, stone steps, or stairs, sorry, and put it right here, like this. Okay? Get your, like, gray stained glass back out, and we are going to make another doorway, like that. Okay? Now get your glass back out, and put it above in the window right here. Okay, now get your gray stained glass pane back out. Imagine all these are done. And we said to do this one right here. And I'm checking my, my reference to make sure we are correct. Okay, so start with the first one right here. And every other one like that. And it actually looks really nice when you do it like this. This adds a detail level to the building that makes it look like it's not just Minecraft, but something else. And feel free to put another one right here, like that, okay? So we have that. Get the light gray concrete out and place one right here and one right here. And voila, that's the back side. And I will finish that off camera. Uh, now going to the other portion over here, the other portion of the building, uh, it's going to start sloping down. This is where the angles come into play. There's a lot of angles to the building. So uh, we can start right away is just lay three down on this side. And I'm doing this side the full glass 
uh, because we need to, since it's not like the other sides, those other sides are the easy, that's why I started with those. Okay, and now lay two more of these, two more layers. Like that. Okay, now this is where the fun starts. So when I say fun, it's in quotations, fun. Okay, now what we are going to do is we're going to count off six blocks. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you place one right there. And then what you can do with this one right here is you just continue it over. And we are going to do this a few times. Okay, so another one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring it over. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then not yeah, right. Make sure that it's six right here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. I almost made a little mistake there. Back over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. And we are going to do one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one won't be six, it'll be five long up here. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we are going to get our light gray concrete out. And what I want to demonstrate what we're doing is we're doing the angle over here. Now uh, this side of the building that we are working on, which I'm flying over to the prototype right now, this is like, the hardest part of the base to do because it kind of angles in. So we're going we're gonna to create this right now. So let's go back over. Have your stone slab ready to go. And my computer sounds like it's about to take off. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, uh, put a single layer on top right here. Not right there. Right here. And get your stone slabs out. And then you're going to do three right here like that. And this, this continues, this pattern right here. Oh, and one right there, not three, one right there. Should be three open right there. So we have that so far. And I did this with a little bit of magic. <laughs> um, we're just gonna continue that same design over here uh, on the wall, which I will show in a second where they should be placed. And then you can bring this over as well. Oh, sorry. The design can uh, just go three over. Don't don't go that end block right there. Okay, we have that so far. Pretty easy, pretty easy. I did not mean the folder. Okay, so what we will do next is we are going to lay the white bottom part of the next level, which is the window that pretty much starts the building off for the main uh, portion of the, well, starts it off, it connects it to the, the base to the top. You'll see what I mean. So what we're going to do up here is I'm going to get my reference image that I have because I need one. And you're going to count over two. So you have the one, two, and I'm gonna go block down right here. Okay, and then place another one. So you should have that right there. So you go over two and then over one. I'm trying to explain this as so simple, as simple as possible. Okay. And we are going to bring this over 39 blocks. We have one right here. So one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and there we go, 39. And at this point, it should be 1, 2, 3, 4 off the wall. So if you want to count from over here, you can do it the opposite way, which would be, you know, going one over and then one right here. 
that should, would line up with the line right here, the glass pane. So you have one, two, three, four, and then you can start with the white concrete going that way, 39 blocks, if you wish. That might be an easier way. Okay, so let's go over the next part. Uh, get your white, keep the white line out, and we are going to go back 34 blocks, which it'll be a total of 35, but we are actually placing 34. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. And as I said, total of thirty-five now but we placed 34. Okay, let's go, let's do that again. So we are going to place 23 and it'll be a total of 24. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, uh, immediately place 1, 2. And now over 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Total of 5. And so you can uh, place that. I'm going to check with the reference one over here, kind of make sure we're all right, and that the number is correct. And yes, it is correct. And you know, making sure you get the base at the bottom right is the uh, the most important part because the base is the. <laughs> Pretty much the footprint and the most important part. You know, now that we have the white concrete still out, place it right against this right here. So this top block, which was the 13th block before, just place this against this so it's flush. Oopsies. Okay, and one right there. Now get your stone slab out. And place on top of that thir 13th block from before a stone slab layer. Oopsies. And you can place it on top of the gray and end it right there. Okay? Uh, this is the little outdoor patio area. And uh, the, the bush goes on top of here. I'll do that after because I want to be organized here. Okay, now what we'll do next is get our polished andesite out and uh, stone. We are going to do the corner one with stone, which corner, I mean the patio area, which you can call them pavers, I guess. Like that. And then do this little pattern like I'm doing. And this pattern just continues. I won't do this the whole way because it'll take forever, but I'll do a little bit here for you. Well, it doesn't take forever. It just on a tutorial, it would take forever. <laughs> and it requires me to use a lot of my, my, my keyboard and my mouse, I mean, or remote. I can't get it right. Okay. So just continue that, and uh, it should go the same direction even over here. Still should be pointing over that way. I'll do it off camera, and you all will see. Uh, but don't continue it over here. Get stone out for this area, and just lay it along here like this. This is a like unwalkable area for the public, I believe. And you can continue that straight uh, over till it is lined up with that. Okay. Um, let's do some windows right away. Uh, we're going to do it four high, four blocks high. So let's lay a layer here. Another layer. One more. Okay. And same thing for over here, do it four high. 
There will be some changes to this corner where it's a little bit higher, but right now we'll just do four to make it simple. Okay, that's four there, I believe. Is that four? Yes, I could. I'm gonna make sure I'm counting, right? <laughs> and just do it all the way around here. In around here as well. And since we are doing the glass right here, you can continue it a little bit right to here so it's, you know, again, it's with that. Okay, so we have that so far. Uh, the lines can come after you do the the concrete or whatever, but I can just demonstrate it really quickly where they should be. Let's go back to this corner to start off. Uh, so count off one from here and place that one right there. Once we get higher up the building, it's easier to tell where these go. Okay, and you do not need to add any on that side, this this part right here. This is like a special angle in glass, which is quite interesting in real life. It's really cool to look at. And what we'll be doing right here, I'm just making sure everything's all good, all correct. Uh, we are going to place it right here, making sure I have the right location of that. And I'm just going to do it off camera, but let me place every other one for you to see. And these glass panes will line up with the rest of the building up above. Like that. Put uh, the glass pane right there, which is still the gray stained glass pane. Uh, but don't make it hit the ground because it connects to the uh, wall part right here, the concrete wall. So uh, you can let it kind of like float there. And we'll do that continuing the whole way down here. And as I did over there, I just pretty much just spaced it out so you all know where to put them and I'll do that again. So I did three right there, we'll do every other one now. And they'll line up with these ones down here. They all should line up. Okay, so that's what we should have right now. And I'm showing every little part so you all understand what it should be looking like. Okay, so I'll be doing, I'll fill those all in off camera um, in a second. Uh, while we are over here, let's get a bush out. It's really a detailing, like a final detailing thing you can do later on, but I want to do it right now so I do not forget. And it will just rest on top of the white part. Like this. Sorry. I didn't hear any noise, okay. Oops. I try to cancel out any background noise if possible. Okay, now we have that bush on top of the white concrete. You can get your light stained, uh, light gray stained glass out paint and just rest it on top of this half slab stone right here. It will hover, that's fine. And it's hard to place these things because they are so small, it's just small hitbox. And break that one and continue it. Oh, we're getting lucky here. <laughs> okay, and place it right there as well. Okay? Now, um, it does hover. If you're not comfortable with it hovering, because, you know, nothing really can hover in your life uh, besides vehicles of some sort, but uh, you can connect it to something like this, you know, connect it like that if you would wish to do that. It's up to you guys, or you, not, you don't have to put that. It's just for realism, just like the real one in New York City. So we have that. Um, continue the extra details right there. Uh, let me see, make sure I didn't forget anything down here. I was checking the doorway next door off camera and I noticed, yes, these are here. So just add those, which is the polished blackstone slab. Okay, back over here. Continue what we did over here. So we'll, we'll start off the corner though. And every other one going up will connect to its top portion. So just take it to right there. It'll connect to the, the gray concrete for everyone. 
In real life, this part of the building actually curves in that way a little bit, um, but I didn't think it looked good in Minecraft. So if you want to, you can curve in half of this, half of this in a block or whatever. But don't do that yet. I would do that after the tutorial if you want to do that. Okay, so just fill those up to the height that I, I said to, which is right there. And depends, you know, each one's different because it's different levels. Well, not each one's different, but they change. Okay, so get that all filled in. Get the little details of the stone and everything filled in. And then we can move on to the next part, which is this window area over here, which will be a uh, little tedious. So get ready for that. Okay, we are ready now to move on to the next part. All Everything over here is all filled in. And let's get going on this window. That's going to be a load of fun. <laughs> uh, so what we'll be doing is we'll be doing some uh, counting. Be sure to pay attention here. And we will start right now. So what we are going to do is, since this is one of the main entrances right here, uh, you'll have to have room for the doorway, um, which will be like that. But uh, it doesn't matter right now. You can solid fill it in until we do all the little details for the base area. So let's start off with the one block, and then two, three, four. Four blocks high. Fill it in. Now this part of the building doesn't need any glass panes, as I said before, it doesn't need any of this stuff over here in the corner. It, uh, the design does not need it anymore. Okay, so let's fill this in as well right here. Okay, so we have that four. Now get your light gray stained glass paint out. Lay a single layer of it on top right here. It should line up right above that gray concrete. Okay, glass paint, or not paint, paint but full block out. And we are going to go up five now. So one, two, three, four, five. And this goes for the whole entire part over here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And fill it in. And I'll do all this on camera for this portion of the building because I want to make sure everybody understands what I'm doing here. Okay, so now we have another layer of glass panes we must do, which is one pane, one layer of it. Each time will be one single layer of the panes. Okay, now we will go up one block, one single block of a full glass block. I'll review the numbers that we are doing here. Okay, okay what we'll be doing now is we are going to go uh, in and up four. Okay, so what does that mean? It connects to this block right here from prior that we laid down before. This just comes over and it can go right to this edge, okay? So you're going in one, but you're not going in over here, if that makes sense. And you can fill this up. And I'm just reviewing my, my work here on my, my reference sheet. So that's four high. And what I'm doing right here is I'll fly over here and show you real quick. It's pretty, isn't it? <laughs> Let's keep flying. Okay. And we are right here on the tutorial. So, so let me fly back. I only am very sure, like, I, I want to review everything I'm doing because the base is so important in the building. Okay, so you can fill this up as well right here. For now, um, I'm going to count off the full length of what we are laying from here, oops, from here to down there in a second. Okay, so we laid that down. So now we need another glass pane. And this one will actually go right to here. And you can land it right there as well. Okay, now that layer is laid down. Now go in and oh, uh, actually not in and up. Um, one pane. Let me just review my work. We're gonna end up four, one, then up five, and one. So now we have five. One, two, three, four, five. And what we'll be doing is we're just going to stop uh, 
right here for now on. So we're going up five. We might even tear into this at a certain point. Okay. So one one glass pane down. And up five of the full glass block. So that's what we should have right now. Um, the side portion of what we did right here is really not important. You don't have to do that all the way up yet. It should be 28 high. So what that does, what does that mean? It means that, so here's how uh, many blocks we just did, which is four, one, five, one, one block, went in one, and we went up four, one, and then we went up five, in one, and up another five. And that is 28 blocks. Okay. And let me count that too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Good. So when I'm not moving like that, it means I didn't hit the button, but I'm still counting. <laughs> uh, so let's go and... Go to this block right here, this one right here. Now this was the first one that went in, I don't know if you all remember, this is the first one that went in. So we are going to count off this one. Now break these blocks that we put right here. We're gonna count in 11, the total length will be 12. So we already have that one right there, so we're gonna count in 11. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So a total of 12, we placed 11. This block right here, okay, I'm gonna come forward one, Place that right there like that. Got that one. Now we will be placing eight. So we already have our first one right here. And so break that. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now we're going to come forward with another one and we're, we're going to place 20. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay. Now what we have done is we pretty much made the footprint for this portion of the building, of the glass. So just stack them. Same for right here. Sorry for my quiet my silence, I mean. <laughs> okay, and right there. Get your glass pane back out. Gray stained glass pane, and place it at the end right there. Okay, so it's starting to have that curve that we want. Now, uh, we, we will go up another four blocks. Just going to check to make sure everything's good over here with the uh, counting, make sure I did everything correct. And I hope I hope this helps more than just me flying over here and looking at this, hope you all see, see what we are doing here. Okay, so there's another layer of glass pane we will do, we'll be doing. As you can see, the ones that we placed right here will be cut off because of this overhang, but we'll get to that in a second. In preparation, we'll need a glass pane that we used on the building over here. The light gray stained glass, which is this one. Okay. Now layer a lay a single layer of the glass pane, and this gives it the indent of a little detail. Only go to right there, which is the first one of the twenty that we laid. 
get this right here and bring it over like this. Okay, now we have this portion down here that needs to be filled in and we need to do the glass to the certain height that it is required to be. So we are going to get our stone back out and I'm gonna pick block it since I have it right here. And we will count starting right here. So right here, place three. And what is nice about this, it's already pretty much spaced out because of the, the concrete, the gray concrete. And we are going to place uh, three, four, five, six. One, two, 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 three, four, five. Okay, and that's five for that last one. Got it? And I'm talking to myself, yeah. Fill these in. Total should be three. Three right here. Okay. Next level, it's going to be a total of two thick, like that. And over here, it's just going to be one block placed right there. And I'm just going to look over it for y'all. And you can see the windows kind of line up with it that we already placed. Well, not kind of, they do line up. <laughs> okay, so that's awesome because now that gives us the, the windows where it's going to be placed, the height of the windows. So this is just going to be like you're going to eye it. So wherever you have open space, you don't want any openings inside the building. You're just going to bring it across like this. Make sure you follow the pattern we already did. And actually the one that I just placed, uh, it, will, it will be the, the glass pane, uh, but I'll just leave it there for now. I'll break it in a second. Another one. And connect the glass block right to this one right here. And go over the required amount. So we have that. And let me fly out here to show you what it looks like. So we have. Okay, now you can get your glass pane back out. Pick block that. And break the ones where this is supposed to go to. And it should go right to this one right here. And this is the 20 block long window, well, facade. And just place it at that corner right there, that single block. On the real building, that just, just kind of distinguishes where the curve is. There's a curvature in the building right here. And that just distinguishes it. I'm just looking at it. <laughs> That's what we have so far. And we will continue on this big glass part after this short commercial break. No, there's no commercial. One second though. Okay, so we are ready to continue. And now what we'll be doing is we'll be doing the last part of this glass right here. Uh, what you want to do is get your light stained glass out, light, light, light gray out, and skip over one block and we will go over three. So one two, three, and we are doing three sets of six. So we have the first one right there, over three. We're so what we're doing is we're going over and up. Over three, up another one. And we should line up with this right here, okay? With this edge. Okay. And take this line right here, this, this block, connect it like that. So we have the first angle right here, as I said, skip one, and then go up three, or go over three, up one, over three, up one, you know, it continues six times. And fill this in below. This will be solid right below here. Okay, uh, now we will go up one block, single block. And you know, you might as well just do this one below it right here. So you have one right there, and we are going to go in one, and we'll be doing two sets of three. So we are in, and we're going three over like that. 
up another three. Fill it in below. Okay, so now we are going to go over two. We're going up and then over two. Sorry, I didn't say we we're going up. And fill it in below. Okay, so let's review what we've done so far. So you have one, three, 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 and then one that we place going up over three, three, and two. Okay, and we will go in one. And then there'll be two sets of three again. So uh, I didn't know if I said uh, in or over. Okay. Let me just check what I'm doing. Okay, we're good. So we laid three right here. And we'll be doing three again. Oopsies. Didn't mean to do that. So it should look like that. Two, three, three. And what we do next is I'm just checking my work <laughs> to make sure I'm correct here. I write everything down. And we're gonna, we're gonna go up two and then over three. Like that, perfect, they connect. That means we did it right. And the blocks are easy to see with the sky behind it like that, you can count it. So it should connect to this one right here, which is three, and then two, three, three, and then two, and then three. Self-explanatory, I hope. I'm trying to make this as clear as possible. And if my words aren't helping, hopefully hopefully the visual, visual of it help, you know. So fill this in, what we have right here. Yes, we have a glass pane right here. This will continue. Um, sorry, I just got to bring it over. Oopsies. That will continue right to there. Uh, it might change, but for right now, we're going to leave it right to there. And it's two blocks, and then you know, five right here. That's just a detail. That can be fixed easily later on. And just fill in to it connects till it connects to the glass pane right here. Bring that down. Okay, so that right there is like one of the hardest parts of the whole entire tutorial, I would say. If you're able to do that, then good job. Okay, now we'll go back over here and start with this side over here. We left it like this last time with the glass pane right here. Place one right there. And we will be placing two layers of the full glass block on top here. Okay, we have that. Let's place another layer. And another layer. A total of four right here. Now what we can do is we are going to count all four from right here. So you have one, two, three, four. Break that right there. And so at this level right here, which is you know, you have four right here, one, four, break, uh, make sure there's nothing uh, right here. Well, let me, I don't know how to explain it, so let me count it. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven open right there, and then four filled in. We put these extra blocks right here. I remember, I remember saying earlier that this might not be here, I might have to break it, so now you can break it. And that's what we should have so far. To clarify, you have five blocks right there, pane, one block. And that should be 11 open. And the overhang will be right here. Okay, so we have that. I get exhausted sometimes just trying to make it clear. <laughs> uh, place one right here so it connects right to there. And I count up three, two, three. And actually, don't do that. Let me check over here. 
I'm always very sure what I'm doing, but I always want to make sure that I'm also checking my work because sometimes I'm wrong and any mistakes are not going to be in the tutorial because I don't want to steer any of you guys the wrong way. So, okay, so single layer above that right there. Okay. So I would have done it one too many. Happy I checked that. Okay, so we are going to bring uh, that back. And I'm going to fly back just in case uh, for the next portion of checking my work. We'll start from the other end. Okay, so we're going to start down here instead, because I think this might make it easier. So place two, one, two, and up uh, and over one, so up and over two. Take this and just bring it over. Okay, we have that so far. Okay, and there should be one block difference right here like that. Take the gray stained glass pane and continue our little design that we have going. Little, not design, but pattern, let's say. Oopsies. It's easy to make mistakes with these. We have that so far. And I'm going to cut the camera roll and um, we will move on to the next part. So we can continue now. We are going to start on the side over here. And what we'll need first is we'll need a block of iron and the light gray concrete, which is right here. So let's start. So this corner right over here. We are going to lay two blocks of iron right here, so you have one, two, and then another additional two at the end, one, two, total of four right there, okay? Lay another layer of that right above it, like so. Now, lay another one right here, get your light gray concrete out, lay one right there, and now you'll count back three blocks, one, two, three. Iron, you will do the same thing, one, two, three. Now we will get this light gray concrete back out and we are going to count over 43 blocks. So um, my phone is trying to fall off the table as I count. So one, uh, we already have the one right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. It should line up with that one right there, but however right here it should hang over a block. Okay, now so let's count over. Uh, we are going to count over 30, uh, 35, yeah, 35. And so we'll, we'll count right here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Now I meant to say 34, uh, we're counting over, not 35. A total block length of it should be 35. So uh, make sure you just counted 34. But if you count from here for this, from this block to the end, it should be 35 blocks. And it should line up with this glass pane right here. And we can connect those right away. Okay. Sorry, maybe it was a little confusing there. Hopefully not to try not to 
confused today. And now since that's already counted, just take the iron block and lay it on top of here. It's, it's kind of hard to always do that right here. I feel like I'm building on top of ice with how it slides around the controls of the game. I never got used to that yet. Okay, so we have that layer. And what we can do right away is actually go up a few floors, start start making this tall. So get the glass of, well, light gray stained glass. Count up four from this corner right here. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Two blocks of iron. One, two. Glass back out. One, two, three, four. Two blocks of iron. So that design is going to continue around this whole entire thing right here. And I don't need to count anymore since we already have the blocks right here to go off below. Glass right here. And you'll count over, um, well, there's five exposed and there's one in the glass. So it's a total of six long. Okay, and then go up another one right here. Each floor height is four blocks, and then you have the, the two blocks for the, the floor and the ceiling below it. Okay, and you can fill this all in. Now, I'm not going to fill it all in on camera because that's just a waste of time, but uh, I'll do it for you right here. I'll do one floor. Okay, we have that. And you'll fill in everything over here as well. And yes, you can fill in this one last one right there. That's inside the glass. Okay, so let's go up another floor since I already started it over there. One, two, three, four. And match it up with that right there. Take this iron block, just go down here until it's the same as the one below it, which is a total length of 35 blocks. Okay. I'm just checking my, yeah, my my uh, numbers here. Oops. Didn't mean to fall there. And then take this iron block and connect it over here. Pretty self-explanatory. We'll be doing a lot of this. This makes up this, this you know, four blocks of glass and then the two iron is pretty much the whole entire building, what, how it's going to be. Now, if you're not a fan of the iron texture, you can use another texture. I would say maybe something light white or light gray. Or not like white because it's only white, but like maybe like a, a dirtier white and then a light gray. And then just fill those in. Fill, fill those in. Sorry, I can't speak here. <laughs> uh, get the gray stained glass pane back out. And it's actually, these lines will match up with the ones above it throughout the whole entire design. So go down here and lay that. Lay this here. You know. I do recommend doing the glass first, of course. And then doing this. So we're just going to move those bottom ones over one block. Okay. And that's fine. So go to the end right here and do this. And of course, these will go all the way up. And bring it around here and don't put any right here because then it looks like that and it looks really weird bring this one right here bring this up and you can actually let me think here you can bring that up an additional two until it hits that, that block right there okay this should all be filled in and let's move on to the next part over here now this this might be like this might look a little tricky, but I assure you we can do it. So get your iron block back out, add an additional one right here, 
Okay, now you're going to add additional four above here. So one, two, three, four, making a total length of five in the two below. Uh, let me get a block out. Let me find the name of that block because I don't remember off the top of my head. Polished diorite slab. Two foot two right here. Okay, now that this design is going to be <laughs> quite, um, uh, what do you call it, continuous. And it's going to follow a nice pattern, which makes it easy. Okay. Place those two rides I just did. And making sure all everything's all right. Okay. And we're just going to follow that same design going all the way up here. And I'll tell you how much it is when we get to there. There's a way of seeing without counting. Oopsies. Sorry if you hear my remote. This takes a lot of back and forth action with the blocks. Oopsies. Start dreaming a little bit, daydreaming as I build. It's very soothing to me. Okay, we're getting towards the top here. Okay, so you would normally place two right here, but don't do that. You are only going to place one. And it should hang over like this. So I don't know how else to count it, so I'm going to do this. Just take the iron block three over from the corner and count over, and it should line up with this. Okay, so we have that. And next, <coughs> get your your polished diorite slab and count over. Well, you actually don't have to, you're gonna have to count. You just go over until it matches up with the fourth block of the glass. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, what you can do is get your acacia wood slab out and place it below like this. And I'm just placing it right below here. Not much needs to be said here. Just line it up with the ones that are already here. Some of you might be like wondering why I'm using acacia wood. And the reason is because it looks like the most um, in likeness to the real thing. If you don't want to use this, you can also use the jungle wood. But this one is the best, I think, in my opinion. Oops. Ah! Can't get this one block. <laughs> Sometimes it's really stubborn. I don't know why. And one right here, and then one right here. And that will go right to there. Okay? So we got that so far. That actually went kind of smooth. I was, I'm a little skeptical why. Go down here, count, get the, get the glass block back out, count it four, one, two, three, four. Get your iron back out, count two. Right here, count another four. And two iron. Go right here. Let's connect these guys. Let's bring them together. This right here is so satisfying to me, like when you bring two parts of the building together in Minecraft for some reason. And just fill in this one area as well. Now I'm going to do the panes outside there. I didn't do that yet. I realized I just didn't, I didn't lay that down yet. So. Uh, these ones are already pretty much mapped out for every other. I'll do this again for you. Make 
just go to that end right there. Okay? And this one right here will be the only one on that side. And you just bring that up. Okay? Iron block right here. Let's bring it over here to the, the angle part of the sectional building thing. I'm making my own words up as I go along. I think I did that in my last tutorial as well. <laughs> I made up some words. Probably was the 30 Hudson, 30 Hudson Yards tutorial, yeah. Which was very successful, thank you, to all who helped build that or built it in their world. We'll continue this until it goes around this edge right here. Okay? Fill this all in with the glass. I'll do one line. One line represents going up the four. I'll fill in this whole area right, right here because it's different than the rest of the building. It can be confusing. Get your glass pane back out. On this side, lay one right here, well, lay it right here, and lay it right here. Connect these two. Okay, now for this side, you're probably wondering if it continues the same way, and it does, that corner, and then every other. And make sure you place it on the iron block. It can be easy to not. And of course, there's no glass here, so I can't put it down easy, easily. And I believe there's one here right there. And one... Looking at my reference at the end here. Okay. Sorry, I went a little backwards with that. Okay, so that's the every other design. I'm going to continue filling that in off camera. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else I can do. Oh, yes. Get your white concrete back out. I started mapping out where the interior columns are that give it that really cool um, effect of um, just the size and the, the strength of the building. So white concrete out, go to the corner right here, and place it as high as possible until you hit that glass block. Go up here, high as possible, right to there. I'll count that for y'all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That height doesn't really matter yet. Uh, go over four blocks, place concrete, white concrete, and this will just go up to the, the same height as the other one. Depending if I do an interior tutorial, we'll use these. But don't don't wait for me to do an interior tutorial. I usually don't do interiors for the tutorials. Unless there's enough people asking. Oh, I'm, I'm counting these over without even explaining these. Uh, so, four right here, count over five right here, go up one, and then place this one right here. So, I'm just trying to show you, make it simple. Okay, now go over another five, and place one. Five spacing, up and over, right here, one. And five in here, and then the one right here. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully I didn't confuse anybody. I always make sure that I'm you know pretty clear. I try. So let's take a look at these again, just making sure. Four spacing, one, two, three, four, five, up one, over five, over five, up one, then you have your block, over five. None right after this, but count over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Use the same block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place one block. And this will continue as well to that same height. And we have that. Very cool. So you can see it's really starting to take shape right here at the bottom. We are going to increase the height this next part, and we will work on this overhang right here, which will be fairly easy. So let me pause it right here, somewhere over here. Okay, we are ready to get going here. 
And what we need first, again, is our iron back out. And what you can do is place two blocks right here at this open area. Actually, not two, but three. Right there like this. Okay, now count off two right here. One, two. Okay, above it. Actually, below it. Um, get the... We don't need to like gray concrete for a bit, so get your polished diorite slab out. And what you can do is you can place it right below here. Two blocks of it. Okay. Now you can get the full block of this material, the same, you know, the full diorite block, but I'm just going to use the slab since I already have them out and I don't feel like looking for the full block. Count over three like that. And another one right here like this. Iron block back out. Lay it on top of here. Another layer. Okay, we have the first overhang, major, like, uh, monumental piece of it. Now let's go over, oh, actually, before we go over here, let me mark out the, where the glass panes will be for this. It'll be at the corner here, right here as well, and right here. Okay, so that part's done, and let's move over to over here. Okay, iron block back out, and let's place... Right up here, we'll place three. One, two, three. And bring that down like this. Okay. And I'm just checking my work to make sure. Right here, break this block. So. I don't know how to explain this, but it should look like this. <laughs> um, and now, we are going to go over two blocks. Actually, I'm just look. I'm reevaluating this, guys. I'm sorry. Don't break that. We may have gone in too far, which is fine. Not a big, not a big issue. Right here, so. We have this right here, break this, okay, now come over here, right here, and now at this top one, place a three, well actually, total, yeah, three, okay, right here, place two, okay, now we have a two right here. Now count over four on this block right here. One, two, three, four. And now let's go on top of that. And we'll be placing eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you just place the same amount on top of here. Like that. Take these two pieces, connect them. And they line up perfectly, so we're all good. This right here, this polished diorite slab, just connect it over here. And underneath here, full blocks of it. Right here, three of them. Full block, full block, should hit that right there. Show two glass panes right there. And then just bring this as trim below here. And you have a gap right here, that's fine. All we're going to do is put glass in here. Like that. Okay, we have that so far. Now get your acacia wood slab back out and line it up with this one right this one right here don't line up don't do that line it up right here oopsie sorry and another layer And this is like one of the really cool parts about the building in real life is how it cantilevers over. Such a massive, you know, important part of the building just hanging over. 
and structurally it's safe, it's fine. Engineering. Structural, structural engineering is quite amazing. I can't do the engineering part, only the designing part. A lot of math goes into it for all the people out there wondering what structural engineering is. It's a lot of math. And continue that material inside right here. Right to there. So we have that so far. Look, looking good, looking good. Uh, I noticed when I was flying around we didn't do the one underneath here, so let's do that really quickly. Get your quartz block out. Do I have one anywhere? I do not have any more. I have any of them in my inventory, I mean. Smooth quartz block. Place it above this right here. And everybody wondering uh, why I use white quartz block for the ceiling is that's my just generic one I use for all my skyscrapers for the, the ceiling, indoor ceilings. Now you can use a solid block of acacia wood, but I already have the half slab already out, so I'm just going to use that underneath here. But I do suggest just using a full block of it. Like that. Over here. Looking good after this. Now I'm going to take a step back and just look at what we've done. Okay. So we have this done in the back. The base is pretty much done. The base is done in the back here. Everything's done over here. I fixed what we had wrong right there. Moved the windows over and so we are ready to go with this part now. And this is kind of fun because we can start building upward. So uh, right here, we'll come back to that part. But I want to do the easy part of it first. You know, it's better to do the easy part first. Uh, and we are going to take a step back really quick, take a look what we're going to do here. Two, one. So I want to make sure I'm doing this correct. Get your glass block back out. Go in a block right here. Place that. Go right to there, which is five blocks long. Go up four, so you already have a uh, so one, two, three, four. Fill that in. Two iron blocks. Glass. And I said four, four glass right here. So it's going to be four, the whole building up. Go in another additional block, and it's going to be, as I said, one more block, like this. These are where the curves are starting to happen. And go up four. Did I do three or four, I can't really tell. Yeah, four. And then place another layer of the iron blocks on top. Look at that, now we're starting to get some height here. Now what we can do is simply go over here. This corner, this edge, this corner area, it goes straight up to the same height right there. And let me explain that. So four blocks, two of the quartz, or not two, two of the quartz, two of the iron. I guess you could use quartz for the building if you would want to, but no, it's iron. One, two, three, four, sorry I fell. Two of the iron. Let's get to that same height there. Okay, you see what I did there? I went straight up right here. And if you already did this side, you didn't have to count over there. We'll connect them. And I'm going to do something just to check the numbers for everybody watching. I know I'm correct, but I want to make sure everybody else has the right numbers so far. So counting from right here, the gray concrete, let's count up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 30, 32 blocks high so far. That's as of now. If yours isn't that height, then you've got a problem, and you might want to fix it. I 
I am quite happy the bottom is pretty much done. That is the hardest part of the whole thing. Now it's just, you know, getting the height, you know, as tall as that one over there. Okay, so uh, fill all that in with the glass. I'm not going to do that on camera, obviously, because that just is going to take too long. But uh, I'll do the important lines for the the, uh, the the glass mullions that we are making. And the mullions, anybody wondering what mullion means? It, it is the architectural term for these glass panes right here. And I'm just looking down there at the building. Just checking on to make sure it's correct down there. Get your glass pane back out and continue this one all the way up. Actually, continue all of them once you have the glass filled in. Over here, continue this design goes in with it. Another one right here. Okay, we have that so far. Fill that in. Let's go over here now. And this is the back side. And the good thing about the back side is it doesn't change either. There's no angles, but you'll see what I mean. Let's go straight up from the corner right here. One, two, three, four. Iron, not iron. Actually, iron, yes. Get all these names mixed up, sorry. One, two, three, four, iron, two iron. One, two, three, four, and two more iron, and same height as that, so we went straight up. Connect both sides. This is the first ledge of the building before the, the form takes place. This back side does not follow the form of the building. Both sides do, not this side. Not this side and that side, they change. They're just a solid block at the bottom. Okay. I don't think I need to explain what you gotta do with these iron blocks now as we build up, but I'll still play some for now until we get the hang of it. Okay. Have that so far. Glass panes will continue up. The ones that we have right here, they will continue the same the same way up. Fill that all in. I'll do that off camera. I'll do all the filling in of that stuff. Uh, that's not important as of now. So, right here, we're going to start again. This glass right here. We have one, two. We're going to do another floor of this. iron and before starting on this side make sure you have that stuff done over there I'm just looking at my, my my work here on the computer to make sure we're all good this same design the same will continue one more floor up fill this in Okay, changes right here a little bit. Continue this over to here. And now place one more block in midair right here. See what we're doing right here? Now it changes. Come over one, two, three, four. Okay. Bring this up, the total of four blocks high. Not much counting is needed, I don't think, verbally for me to, to do. Quite small numbers we're dealing with. And count this over. So you have four here, a total of five iron blocks long there. Making it simple. Okay, we have that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue this right here. This goes to that block right there. Okay, and then it stops short one of here. So since I'm in a super flat, it's 46 high right now, which is 43 tall, if I'm correct. Take off the ground level, or the, the grass and stuff down there. And continue this right to here, like that. Continue your glass right here, the four high total, three long right here. 
So you have four there, three right there, and that's what it should look like so far. Simple enough, I hope. And now, let's continue over to here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue this design that we did down below. We're going to do one more floor of it over like this until it is over this block right here and right there. Oopsies. And then we can fill that in. And I'm filling this side in because this is the most important side of the building. I consider this to really like the front of the building. It's the best view of it, the best, um, I don't know, design on this side. Okay. So we that so far. And now starting this end, we'll continue making keeping it easy, I mean. Count up four. One, two, three, four, two iron. Okay, now with this iron, you're going to bring it over. Oopsie. I'm looking at my reference as I do this. Okay. And that's how it should connect. Connects nice. Do this as well. Fill in this glass, of course. Okay. Now what we can do is this right here. We'll continue the same design. Now below here, inside when you do interior, make sure you have like the white quartz below here, quartz or carpet, whatever you want to do. Now we're going to break some of these blocks. I'm going to do the solid fill of these. But these will be destroyed. And since we are right here, place this right here. Both sides go in a block over there. And just do these right away, since we're up here. We have that. And we are getting a lot done. A lot done at once. Now, here's what you need to do. Glass pane right here. Bring this up. Okay. That one runs out of there. This one should continue. It's going a little higher. Let's do some of the glass right here. Sorry if I'm going back and forth, that's just how it, that's how it happens with the tutorial. And then just go right to there like that. Okay. Now we're going to do, now imagine all these are here, every other, you have every other one here. Sorry, I didn't mean to place that. <laughs> okay, so you have every other one like that. Now you already picture you already have the panes done. Break every other one in between the panes. The building has a design like this on a few floors. And it gives it a nice detail to the building. It might be the vending system for possible smoke or whatever it may be. But it does look really cool. It breaks up the design of the building, the general facade of it. And use the same block we've been using in our hand, which is the gray stained glass pane, and then just do it in between each one. When I was making the prototype, I realized I was using black glass, so I had to redo half the building. <laughs> I swear, it's always something. Okay, so we have that all good, all Gucci. <laughs> Go over here, iron back out. Okay, 
what we'll be doing is we're going to continue the same design right here that's below. It's going to line up perfectly. And we'll do the glass right away, make it easy. Easy for you anyways, I mean, for when we connect these buildings. Or the parts of the buildings. These numbers were already counted before, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sometimes I wonder if I'm too thorough, but somebody told me that they like that, so I'm going to continue that. Now right here, you notice how it goes in a block. It's different from down there, where you are going to go over until it goes to the end block right there, which is seven long total now. Hit that iron block and place these two on top as well. Get your glass panes back out. Go up the building. We'll run out with that one right there. This one will continue all the way up for now. Uh, there's not even a block right here. I missed that. <laughs> I was wondering why I couldn't place it. Let's go back down here. Right here. And don't do that. And there is another one. Okay, so we have that so far. Now what we are going to do is we are going to get our iron block back out. Actually, get the glass block out. Count up one, two, three, four. And I already have that counted, so I didn't have to really count count. So four high iron block right here at the end. And do we really need to put iron blocks? Do we need to we let me look at it right now? You don't, because there will be interior here, white quartz will be below here. So it just goes right to there, connects to the it connects to the one that we already have. Okay. Looking at my reference, making sure everything's all good and correcto. And it is, so let's continue the same design up here, continues. So four of the glass, two of iron, four of glass, two of iron. Connect these two right here. And fill those in with the glass. I don't think I'm gonna do those on camera, I don't really need to. And yes, this continues right here as well. And making sure that's all correct, yeah. That's what we have so far. So as I said, fill these in down here. I'm going to fill in maybe maybe I'll just fill in all of them on camera. It's not that much, and I I want to show where the the mullions, the glass mullions will be going for it, so why not? Those are done right there. Okay, glass paint back out. The gray glass one. And I'm not sure if I said this before, but make sure it's the dark gray one, not the light gray. Okay. That's what we have so far. Now, let's go to the other side. Let's just get this complicated stuff out of the way. This is really just the most hardest part of the building, and that's not even that bad over here. So a total, let's go up straight. Three floors, we're going to go up straight. So you have one, two, three, four. Iron block of two. One, two, three, four. Two of the iron blocks. One, two, three, four. Two of the iron. See how they, sh how they uh, line up here? Connect those guys right there. Connect the ones down here. Fill the glass in right in there. And I'm going to actually fill in some of the glass right, right here. Okay. I feel the need to get some corners of it and stuff. 
And there's going to be the glass mullion layer, which I'm deciding where that will line up at. That will be at the end. Like that. Okay, we have that so far. And there is one that will be laid right here, where I'm filling in. You know what, I'm just going to fill in this section right now, because why not? It's only one block. Place right here, see how it doesn't connect to anything else? That is going to continue throughout the whole building, little areas. If nothing hits it, nothing connects to other parts of it, then we'll lay it down. Okay, so that's good. Uh, now let's let's do another layer right here. So right here, place one, and then you, you're going to have two, three, four. That's going to go up to the same height right here. Iron. Okay, so we left this one block open right here. That's good, all good. Now since that's already done for that portion uh, of the counting, it's just going to line up down here. So go over two right here. And if you have the, the expertise of using a structure block, it will come in handy with this building with the glass and the glass panes. And there's this one right here, which just does continue the same way. We're only building up to the first level, as I said. You can see what I mean, like that level right there. Okay, so let's go up three. It's going to match that. One, two, no, <laughs> two, three, four iron one two three four iron one two three four and the two blocks of iron like usual and checking everything and so far it's looking good connect these And connect these ones down here. I don't like to speak anymore. <laughs> okay. Glass panes, every other. Nothing new here. And that will continue up to there. Now back up here. I'm analyzing the building and one, two. Okay, so they're over here. Let's go back over here. As you see, we went to the full end right here. Break this one right here now. And we can actually start connecting both parts of the building like that. Like that. You fill in all these, you connect all these. And if it doesn't line up, you got a problem. But it's lining up for us, and we're all good. Fill in the glass. And don't forget, every other will get the glass pane. Continue that all the way up. This one right here that sets back one, move it over or connect to the other side. And it went in a block, so as you see, it should connect right to here. That end block you want to connect to. Go straight back. Go up four blocks now. Connect both sides. Okay, fill that in and 
That will be done then when I do that off camera. Fill that all in. Now, before we continue, before I leave you off to do that, let's let's uh, do the other vents. There's more vents in the back. I'm so I'm gonna call them vents for now or fins. And so what it's going to be like is this top level that we finished at. We're gonna do every other with solid glass. Just like this. Okay. We have that. Do every other one on this side as well. Now what that means is it gives us the room to have the single block of this in there. And you do that all around the whole entire top part of this building. Also, you'll be doing it over here on this side, and it's different from um, this part right here. You don't do it on this part at all. So let me let me lay these ones right here down. Uh, let me make sure they're the right spot where I want to do them. So this picture, this is already here. This is one of the mullions. So every other will have it. And it's only three of them will have it. Okay, like that. Now the front side over here, as you see what we're doing, I'm going to go over here and fly over here to demonstrate what, it, what, what, that, what we're doing. Tongue tied here. We're doing that. More vents. So he's got to fly over there. And this M1 does not have one, okay? So right here, every other. And I'll do that off camera, but all you got to do is start from there and it will continue to be the right design with the glass panes that separate each and every one of them self-explanatory. So let me do that off camera and we will be back. Okay that's all filled in and I even added the floors below it so it would appear more darker and more realistic. So let's continue on and get your actually get your glass out, iron out, and uh, quartz block. We are going to start off with the quartz block. We're gonna go right over here. This is the back side area and we're going to count off uh, let's see here. We're going to count off one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, right here. Get some stone out. Let me just find the stone. You know, I always lose track of where everything is at because they're always updating the game. I'm just going to use the slabs. And count back three with them. So on the, on the ninth block, count three back. Let's go over here to uh, this side and count 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Place three on 12. Okay, now get your white cords block out. And starting right here, go back until we reach this part right here, this block. Same for over here. Go to the end right here of the, the three blocks of the stone and connect it to back here. Okay, we have that. Now we just have, have to get these to meet. So add more right here and connect them like this. They should be, there should be four right here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven right here. Seven on the outside, four on the outside. Total of uh, you know, you have a total of five, and then you have a total of nine right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, eight. Total of eight there. So I'm just trying to count it in many ways to make it simple. 
fill this whole area up here with stone. This is a, I think it's a mechanical floor of some sort or a um, area for people just to relax. I'm not quite sure, but it's not, not important. But you can put a railing, and I would suggest using maybe this as the railing material right up here. Or you can use something lighter that blends in with the windows. I would say light gray stained glass pane. I didn't do this on my prototype over there because I forgot. But yes, you want a railing so nobody falls off the building. Okay, so we have that. Now get your glass block back out, the full glass block. And we will start off by counting up two floors. So one, two, three, four, two iron. One, two, three, four, two iron. Simple enough right there. We will be doing the same thing on the other side, right over here. At this uh, edge right here. Not this. Make sure you don't do it right here, but do it right here. So count up uh, two more floors. So you have one, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. And I don't think I need to describe or explain what you got to do for the areas in between because it's just another floor and the design continues. And so fill it in, do what, do what you do and make sure you have the, the glass uh, pane out and just line it up with the block right here and you just go up. Okay, and it's every other so just follow the, the lines down here and go up. That's simple enough I believe. So let's continue and this time we will be going up three floors. So go over here. See this block right here? Go back on bo both sides one block. Okay. But make sure you're using glass, not iron. I was just using that to count. Okay. So we have that. So let's go up three floors. One. So you have the first block right already right here. So you have the one, two, three, four, two iron. One, two, three, four. Two iron. One, two, three, four, two iron. Okay, looks good. So we have those three floors right there. And we must go over here now. And now this is going to be a little bit different. Go back one block on this side, like this. And then go up the same amount of floors as that. Or actually, uh, I'll describe, not not quite that, but it's the same amount of floors, not the same pattern. So one, two, three, four, two iron, like this. And let me just connect those right away. Like that. Okay, that's done. Now, over here, go back on from this edge, one block like that. And then we are going to match the height of that. So you have one, I'll give the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. It should be the same height. Bring this over, connect it. Like that. I'm just going to step back and look at it. And you just fill it in as you go up. Okay, we can move on now. Go over here to this corner right here. And we'll be going up four floors this time. So get your glass out and do what we did down there. So you go back one, back one, and here we are. And this time we'll be going up four floors. So one, two, three, four. Iron, one, two, three, four, iron, one, two, three, four, iron, and one more floor of this, one, two, three, four, and then the iron. Okay, so we have four floors right there. And looking at it, make sure you do this one right away. So this was the second floor right here. 
mark that as special because that's going to be a special floor where we change up the design. Okay. So let's go over here now, this other side here. And looking at my work, I'm analyzing what I did here. Okay. So get your glass back out. Go back one. Like that. Go up one, one floor. Two, three, four. Iron. Making sure it's all correcto. Another floor. One, two, three, four. Okay, we should have this so far. I'm backing up so you can see what we are doing right here. And now, right here, go over. Wait, go over one block. So use the iron like this, go over one block. And continue until you're that height right there. So one, two, three, four, iron. One, two, three, four, iron. And these should be the same height. Connect like that. Starting to take shape now, as you can see. What we'll be doing now is this floor right here. Bring these over. And if you're building on a, a super flat, you'd be 88 right here, 88 blocks high off bedrock. And then just fill these in like this. Oops. This is a big building, very big building. <laughs> so that's why there's so many details and different changes in between the floors. Okay, so we have to do this now. So what we'll be doing is keeping this block right here. Go every other one with the light gray stas, uh, green stained glass pane, or not pane, but the block. There's so many words for the glass. Yeah, four different words. And then just do every other one. And we have a system going down right now. Okay, so get your gray stained glass pane back out and fill in every other one that's open with the so it has like that indentation look. Okay, continue that all the way down there, and every other one will have the the glass mullions right here in between. And then just continue that down. Okay? So we have that so far. And why not continue? Yeah, why not continue? So go back up here. Same as before, glass block out, go back one on each side, and we are going to go up an additional few floors here, backing up to take a look, and we are, so we have the that down there, so we'll go up three floors, so you have the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And yeah, it's three floors right there. Okay, cool. Now, let's go to the other side over here. And now we place three, we already have those three floors placed. So we are going to just go back one block right here like this and then we'll just go up a few floors as well uh, we'll go up two floors or not two floors back up it's gonna analyze this so this is what yours should look like so far I know this this can be a little difficult counting up
And for me, I'm analyzing it, so it could take a while just to look at it. I don't want to make any mistakes for y'all. Okay. So we have that one, one, two, two above the vent. Two. Okay, so go up two floors. Two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, to the left now, we're going to go over one block. Like this. Up three, uh, four. And then the iron. And bring this over, it should connect perfectly. Like that. So what we're going for, for this side over here, I don't know if you can see the, the pattern that we're doing. There, on this side, it's like four floors, and then over four floors, and then over. It's so the other side has that perfect angle. And I want to make sure that I'm doing that right, because that would screw up everything if I did it wrong. So it's very important to me that I get this, that I get this right for y'all. Okay, so let's go over here in this corner now or this, this side, whatever you want to call it. And we are getting closer to the new, the next vent, which is what we did down right here. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So we, we have one, two, three, four, five, six floors. Okay, so the next vent will be right in the next level. So get your glass block back out. Go one on both sides like that, as I just did. And we'll be going up four this time, four floors, so you have one, Two, three, four, iron block. One, two, three, four, iron block. One, two, three, four, iron block. And one more of the floor. Like that. We're getting pretty high up here now. Starting to get some really good height. So let's go back over here. And what we'll be doing is going back one, of course. And we'll go up three floors. Let's see if the one, two, one, the first one, one, two, three, four. Iron block. One, two, three, four. Iron block. One, two, three, four. Iron block. Okay, so we have that there. I think I'm getting the hang of this now, how I was when I was building it. So we're going to go, we're going to go over one block now from this top one we just put, and get your glass block out, back out. One, two, three, four. Iron. One, two. Oh wait, I think it was only one floor. Only one floor. <laughs> Sorry, I get, I get carried away there. And connect it to the top here. That's what we should have right now. Pretty simple. Okay, let's go back down here. And right here is a special floor. So this is was this was the 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 last section of the four floors we did. Go to the first one right here. Bring this over. Okay, now don't forget, we have the venting system now, as I call it. And go every other one with the full glass block. Um, let's start over here, since we already have it. Start on the left side for sure. And making sure with my, just checking with my the one that I have here. And I want to make sure this lines up. So this pane right here should be able to continue. Is it right, that one? Wait. Okay. Yes, just checking my work. So every, one, every other one. You do this, of, of course. 
and then you put the ones in between here like this. Same design continues. And then you put them in between, don't do that. Well, actually you can, but not, not yet. I'm just marking where they're gonna go. Sometimes we'll have like two extra blocks here. And obviously you can't fill it in because it's like an odd number building. So we have that so far. Glass panes in between. And then we have that. So awesome. Let's continue. We will be doing three floors now, starting from this side over here. Glass pane out. So we'll get the first block there, the one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. As you see, we're getting north, like towards the white part of the building, which is where the observatory is at. Over here, it's quite simple we'll be doing is we'll be going back one. Like this. And we'll be going up three floors as well. See the one, two, three, four. Iron. One, two, three, four. Iron. One, two, three, four. Iron. Connect these guys to each other. Like that. Okay, now we are at another floor, which is where you got to do the, the vent system. And I'm just going to do two of these so I can line them up. And I'm just going to imaginarily, or whatever the word is, go up here and line it up. Is, is it this floor? Yes, it's this floor. Okay. So we're going to have, this means we are going to have a two double thick glass corner, not above but below here. I don't know what I was doing in above it. <laughs> so do this top floor, this was the last floor we did. Let's finish this iron right here. Okay, now we have this floor, go over another full block. Unlike the other ones where it was a single, we are doing two right here. And fill in every other. Oopsies. Another double thickness right there. And fill in the every other, you know. And we're doing the glass panes right here too. So it just continues. Simple, I think. And so we have that first major section. Uh, I'll fill it in off camera because it's a pain in the butt to do on camera. And we can start with another side or corner. We'll see. Okay, everybody, we are ready to move on. That's all filled in. Let's go down here now. And let's start working on the main front of the building. And I'm going to show you a pattern that continues that might make it easy to understand what we're doing here. Uh, but first of all, let's start uh, right here. And we are going to go up one floor right now. So get your glass out. Go up one, two, three, four, and then the iron. Okay, this is where it change changes, I mean. So we have one floor right here, which makes two floors. And you have two floors right there. Now that continues, there is a two floor change every time. So every time you have two floors, it goes in a block to the left. So for over here, this will help us for when we have to go into the building. So I'm going to use this as a guide. So every time it steps, it steps back into the building, I'm going to use this to line up with it and connect. And you'll see what I mean. But for right now, um, I wanna, uh, we'll start over there, we'll, we'll work on that. But uh, over here as well, it's four, if you see it's like a four, you know, floor, four floor angle 
filling up the whole building. This creates the angle of the building, and I'm just trying to help help you understand what we are doing here. So we have the first floor right here. Uh, fill this in right away if you would like to. And let's start on the next floor. So we're going to be doing two floors now. Now we did we just did one floor, which made two floors right here, but we already had this floor done from before. So let's do two floors now. See so the glass, and I don't really think I need to count this anymore because it's quite explanatory. Four glass and two iron each time. Okay, so we have that. Now you see this lines up perfectly. We will connect them right away, like this. And then you can do each floor right away, or you can just trace out the building. I'm going to trace it out. I'm not going to connect them every time unless there is a, a reason to to do that. And as you see, it goes in it goes in a block now because we already had this laid out from before, so it goes in a block. So we are not going to be counting right here at the end like this. No, we're going to go over one like this. Okay, and we're going to do two more floors. And yes, this goes in a block right here as well. Because we're going over each two floors. And then whatever this tells us to go back. Whenever this tells us to go back, we go back with the floor. I think I explained that the best I can. We'll do this every time though. Every time we have two floors, we'll connect it over. And it looks like the next two floors will line up as well. Oops, <laughs> I hate when I do that. Okay, connect the other side. And since we did this side already, it makes, the, it makes it much quicker now as we build. Now, as you see, it goes back another block. So let's go back another block and go back another block on this side since we're trying to keep that angle going. Go up two floors. Oops. Okay, and two blocks of the iron, bring it over. Like that. And next two floors as well, line up with that. So go over the one block with the glass. We have four there, two iron. Iron again. And if you're wondering about the vents that we usually do, since we already did it on this side, we can just do it over here after we already do the whole entire wall. So we'll do that after. And it makes it easy because it's already there, lined up for us to go. And it goes back another block I see right there. So let's go back another block and then back another block on this side. The four glass, the two iron as usual. Oops. Three. Okay. We have two floors right there. Let's bring it over. And you can start to see the building take its shape. It stays in that same same angle, so we're just going to go back this way this time. It was so hard when designing the building to get the angles right. This building was like one of the hardest I ever made, even harder than the Chrysler building I made in the past. It's such like a unique shape. Nothing is like the same on either side. So we're going to go in a block there, I see. Where's it? <laughs> I lost it for a second. Okay. So each each two floors is 12 blocks high, if you're wondering, 12 blocks high. And we go in, or we stay, oh, we stay in that path, okay. But we go over one more. And bring this over. Okay, so we have that done. Look at it. Now I do suggest fill in the glass first, it makes everything a lot easier. And let's do the venting system that we did before. So how I'm going to determine where they line up as, is we're going to go down here, and I'm going to assume that if I go over 
you know, the one, two, three, four, five, six, sixth block right here, which is the last level of the bendings we did. Um, if I line it up right here, it, it'll tell me where it goes. Full blocks right here. And imagine the irons right here. So I'm going to do this right away for you. Fill that in. Okay, so since this is a solid one, now this tells us that this right here will be solid as well. And the vent, the first open, uh, the first glass pane that sets back will be right here, which is the fourth one over, if you're counting the iron. Or, you know, yeah. So do every other block. Congratulations if you made this far in the tutorial. I would say this is probably one of my more advanced level ones, so if you're doing this, you're pretty good with doing this, or pretty good at following along with tutorials. And fill in every other one with the glass panes. And we have one more, sweet. Okay, now that we have that done, uh, of course, glass panes now. They go in every other one in between. If your glass panes are landing on these right here, then something's wrong, something's off. So I think you guys get the, the picture. Every other one you do this, you go up. So we have that so far for that one, uh, and now we go to the next level of the of those, which would be okay. It looks like I was doing it on the wrong level. It's the level above, which I believe is the same. Okay, yeah, the level above. This was supposed to go right here. So just match it up. This should go over here. I would I would redo this, cut this out, and redo it, but it's the same. It's the same right there. Okay, so what we did this, what we did right there, should go right here. It should line up with these ones. They line up all around the building. This side doesn't have them though, but uh, we'll get to that in the end. Or that'll probably be like the last facade wall, major facade wall we do. We'll see. Depends how I arrange the tutorial. So let's go back up here. Okay, we have this one right here. I'm going to mark it right here, so I know this is the one. Like this. Okay, we're going to put it right there, um, need the iron out. Okay, let's go down the building. And since I put these here mistakenly, uh, I can go off these ones, because these panes are correct. We we'll have to go all the way down there now. Now normally if you're building the, the building like how you should, you don't have to go find where these would be laid at. Okay. Okay, now we're on the right floor. And we're doing every other one like before. And I'm not going to do this for all of them. Let me just lay these down. Okay, so this one will have two blocks of full glass at the end. And so you just fill these in every other with these glass panes that divide each one up. Okay. So then just do that. Let's go up here. And let's do this top one. Now up here is the last floor before it gets to the ob observatory deck. And the observatory deck, the glass actually changes. It becomes a white glass, not a gray glass like before or the rest of the building, I mean. So let's go down here, and let's take this right here and go straight up. I can't grab it. Oh, there we go. Let's go up. I'm sorry if you hear my dog in the back. 
glass, get the glass paint out so it's easier to lay it down on. See? And then do every other. And it looks like we'll have a vent here at the end. Okay, let's keep going and do every other. Like this. And then you fill these in every other. With the glass panes in between each one. And let me check the one over here and make sure that that's correct. I think it is, but I always want to make sure that we're doing this right and I'm not screwing anything up. Okay, good. That last one does get filled in with the glass. Cool. So that is that side of the building. I'm going to fill it in off camera, and so we can move on to the next part of the building. But yes, make sure that that is the right on the right floor. I put that one on the wrong floor, but it's the same uh, layout and same size. And let me just do that really quickly. Do a little bit of it. This floor doesn't want me to do it right, does it? <laughs> this darn iron! <laughs> oh, it drives me nuts! Okay. Okay, and now that will just become the solid glass down there with the glass panes that are outside. The ones that are the millions. Okay, so that's done. And we are going to cut it right here, and then I'm going to re. Uh, we'll be we'll be doing more. Okay, folks, that's all filled in. Let's move into the other side. And this side's quite easy. Um, that side's not as easy as this will be. So uh, just still pay attention now. Uh, so we'll start off with our light gray stained glass, and uh, we'll be starting off on this corner right here. And let me demonstrate how it's going to be when we go up the building here. So as you see on the side angle right here, it's four four floors each time. And we'll start off with the fourth floor right there in that corner. So let's go back over. And we're flying, we're flying. <laughs> okay, there it is. So we'll go up four floors, and uh, so that's a total of, I believe, 24 blocks. Four... And we are just doing the four window and two iron method. It's three, and then there's four. And we're gonna do. So we're gonna start off by doing this side first, and then we'll do that side. Uh, so we have the four right here, and now we have to go back one block this way. Like this. But we're going to do this two floors now. So you have the first two, three, four. Two. One, two, three, four. Two. So those two floors are there. Making a total of six long right here. And now we will go in one this direction. Okay. And we're going to stay along this path right here. So we're just going over one to the left. And I believe I broke the iron wrong, yeah. So the two floors we just did, and now place the glass right here. Same method. And now we will go up an additional two floors this way. And I believe that is wrong. So sometimes I lose track when I'm dealing with all the same blocks like this. There's so many of them that we're working with. Okay, so we have that. Now what we are going to do is we're going to go back this direction once. Like that. Go in once. And we'll go up this direction two floors.
Okay, we have that. And as you see on this side, you have the four floors. And then you have the four floors over there. So this angle is four floors. And then this angle over here is six floors each time. It's the easiest way of remembering it. One, two, three, four. And that means we have two more floors to do on this side. So go up two more floors. Okay, so we have the one, two, three, four, five, six. Six floors now on this side. Now we have to go over one. Okay, and we already have four floors on this side, so that means we go on. We go over now, like that. So now you go up for. Let me think here. Two, three, four. Uh, you're gonna go up two. Right now you'll go up four floors. Let's go up four floors. See how many floors I did. Did I do did three? Okay, we'll do four. Okay, so we went up four floors. And now we will continue, uh, but we're going to go back now, one, like this. We'll go up two floors now. Like that. And now we have six floors on that side. So now we continue. We go over now this way, one block. Two, three, four, and this is only one floor. We're doing this. Okay, now we have that blueprint done, and what that means is this corner can be done. So what what you would do is you go over here to this one, and you just connect them. This window will follow this, and they connect like this. Let me do a few of them for you guys. Let's do this one right here. Over, connect. So they just intersect until those intersect, and then, then you put the windows on top of them. This right here, no different. And this glass would continue, and then they would sit on top of that one. And you can put your white quartz block below this each time. Let's go up here. Let's go up to one up here, right here. Intersects. Put the glass on top. Glass will go right here. And that just you do the same process as you get a higher up here. Okay? I think that's self-explanatory. That continues up the whole entire corner of the building. Let's do the top one. So it gives us a sense of closure at the top. This is the top as of now. This isn't the final top of the building, of course. And this makes the corner edge of the building. Thankfully enough, there are no vents on this side. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Or even on this next portion of the building, I don't have to worry about that either. Um, the glass panes will continue with the same pattern as you've seen below here. This pattern right here, just line it up and you can go straight over and then just place them. So say you have these already filled in with the concrete below or the stone. I never finished putting the stone in here down here. I'll have to do that off camera. This should all be stone in here and over there. I'll do that next bit. But yeah, so the glass pane from right here will just continue. The glass panes that will be on the left side, bigger part of the wall, are going to follow a different pattern, so don't do that yet.
And these are missing right here for some reason. Maybe because I go I go fast sometimes. But yes, so these lines will always continue going up the building. I don't really explain that. Never you never want a block of glass paint in the corner of the building. That looks bad. So make sure it's not hitting any other pieces or any corners. Okay, so we have that so far. Uh, let's move on over to here, folks. And first, we are going to do two floors because we already have the first floor right here. This counts. It, this goes up by three each time now. This angle is a three block three. So it's three in, three in, three in. We already have the first floor, so let's do two floors. Get your glass block back out that I I disappeared some way. <laughs> Say one, two, three, four. Iron. One, two, three, four. Iron. Like we did over there before, let's bring this one over. And this will dictate how the the uh, parts of the building goes in. So let's go up another three. We're going to do two floors first uh, to start off with. So one, not you don't want to use iron, you want to use glass. One, two, three, four. Iron. One, two, three, four. Iron. Connect it over to here. You see this? We go in one block. We only did two floors, so just go in one. This will be the third floor, since we're counting in threes. Connect it like this. Okay. And now, now we go in, on this side, another block, since we did our three floors. Let's go in, starting another three floor pattern. Two, three, four. Iron. And we gotta check to make sure that it doesn't go in anytime soon. Okay, cool. So we're gonna stay along this line and we'll do three floors. nice when it's easy. Two, three, four. Okay, that's the third floor. Let's bring this over. Sweet. And we do follow the same as that side. So let's go over one. And you notice we, we're not going to lay it on top of this time. And this time we're going to go in one by one each side. Like that. So let's go up. Two, three, four, iron, and sweet. It's gonna be nice and easy. One, two, three, four, iron. One, two, three, four, iron. Connect it to the other side. Like that. So we have our threes right there. I think you all can see what I mean. Now we're gonna do one floor. Uh, of the three, so one of the three. So one, two, three, four. And bring this over right away. Like that. And as you see, we're going to go in one since this side's starting to taper in. So we're going to do two floors. Two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. And bring it over here, connect it. Like that. Okay, so we have our three floors over here. Now we're going to move in another one since we did our three over here. One, two, three, four. Iron. One, two, three, four. Iron. And see, it goes in a block, so we're going to have to step back one block with this. So one, so one, one right here. Two, three, four. Iron. Connect to the other side now. Like this. Sweet. And over now, another three. This one won't be completed because we are stopping at that part right there. So we're going to be doing two floors this time. But the white glass will continue that, that same pattern. But we'll get to that not yet. So one, yeah, the, the first one, two, three, four. Iron. One, two, three, four. Iron. And connect those. I'm very happy how this is going right now. Oh, it appears, <laughs> as I say that, folks, um, looks like I was looking at it wrong. This goes over. Don't bring that back, the one. Bring this back. Or bring it back to where it would should be. And break what I did right here. If it was a worse mistake, I'd cut it out, but that's so small. Okay, so we have that. 
and it is coming along really nicely. I'm happy how it's looking. And as I said, you don't have to do any of this vent stuff on the back. I looked at thousands of pictures and I don't see any in the back, which is it's odd, but they didn't do it. So, um, But the glass panes do continue. Every other, whatever it is down there, whatever it lines up as you're going along, it's what you do up here. Let me finish doing this, this little bit of this crown part right here. Okay, so we have that so far. Fill it all in. I'll do the off camera. I'm going to do the corner as well. I'll do this this little uh, you know annoyance right here, joining them together and doing the glass off camera. But yes, so we are going to continue next after I do that. We'll continue on this side, which is the hardest part of the main main uh, structure when it comes to this this part of the building. Uh, but hang tight, and we'll do that right now. We are ready to move on to the next part, which is the final main structural facade of the building. And let's go down here really quickly to the one ledge. I filled in the concrete, well, the stone. I always call it concrete because it, it's concrete to me anyways. Uh, the glass panes, as I said, do not line up with the ones below. This is the only part of the building where it doesn't line up. So these ones are going to be every other, spaced out every other. This is the only part where I said it happens. Um, but make sure your glass pane starts here at the corner with the edge there. Uh, these ones on the side, though, do follow the ones below. And I'll back up so you guys can see exactly where I'm at. There you can see every other for these ones compared. These don't line up unless you're on an angle like this. Okay, so let's go. Let's move on to the next part. Over here now, you will go one to the left. Get your glass block out. We'll do, be doing that area uh, moment, momentarily. Let's do this side first because it is easier for me to do one side at a time for this part right here. So let's go over one block and I want you to place uh, one floor Like so. And so this side right here will be going up at four four floor increments on an angle. And over here, it's going to be three, two, three. So what that means is we go in a block over on this side with the glass. Like that. And we'll be going up above this one. Uh, we'll be going up at... Let's see here. We have a two here. So we're going to go up two more above this what we just placed. One, two, three, four. Iron. One, two, three, four. Iron. Okay. What that means now is we'll be going in another block to the right. One spacing we'll be doing. Over here, let's take a look. We're going to go in both sides one. That means get your glass out like this, and go up. Let's see how many floors we'll be doing. We'll go at two. We'll go up two this time. See the one, two, three, four, iron. One, two, three, four, iron. Okay, now go over to the right, one. And we'll be doing another floor. So you have the one, two, three, four, iron. And we have that now. So as we see right here, we're following the rule. Three, two, three. We need two more floors on this side. I need one more on this side. So let's go up another floor. One, two, three, four, iron. One more is required on this side. And then none are this side. There's no. There's four here, four floors. So we're going to go over one on this side. As you see, go up one floor. See so the one, two, three, four, iron. And that starts off the next row, the next floor of fours. Let's look over here. That means on this side we already have our three floors, so we got to go in one. When I say in one, I mean over this way. And we'll go up two floors right away. So the one, two, three, four, iron. One, two, three, four, iron. We have two there. So we're going to go in this side one, look to this side, and stay on the course because we, we only have three floors here. 
One, two, three. Actually, I didn't mean to do that. Let's back up. Okay. Just making sure this is the hardest part for me. <laughs> I'm making sure I'm getting this right. So let's do one floor right now. See so the one, two, three, four. Iron. So we have four floors on that side accomplished. And now we need to do two more on this side. Now let's do, uh, let's go in one on this side. So you're going win one in over here. And then you're doing two more. So two more floors are here from where we left off. So one, two, three, four, iron. One, two, three, four, iron. Getting close to that part right there, very close. So you see we have the two, three, two going on. We have to go into the right two or one now. Let's look over here. Okay, very cool. We're going to do two floors okay. now. So go in one and continue from right here. And we'll go up two floors. So you have one, two, three, four, iron. One, two, three, four, iron. We'll be going in another floor. And we'll be going to the left one. So, how does that look? It looks like this. Like that. And we'll be going up. We'll go up three this time. See so the one, two, three, four. Iron. One, two, three, four. Iron. One, two, sorry, three, four. Iron. And look at that. These three should match up. Let's connect these guys up here. And voila, you have that so far. And we have that. So now what you do is you connect these corners. It's quite simple. Connect these corners over here every time. I hope this is simple enough. Like this. Where the glass block is right here dictates where it goes right here. If it's not on top of here, then you don't place it on here. So I hope you guys understand what I mean there. Um, you go down here, and once you fill in all that glass, you just take these lines and you follow it up. Say if it, this one right here runs out and there's no more to the right, you just do every other block. You keep adding them until it's every other. But you don't want to touch any corners or any you know connecting pieces where it looks weird, if you know what I mean. Uh, so let's we have that. Let's go over here. This side is much easier. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, let's let's do that right away. I'm looking in the distance at the the reference piece, looking at something, and it's all correct. Uh, you're probably wondering about the vents. These uh, where are the vents at? These ones right here. They follow the same pattern going up the building. Um, I'm just looking over there. Yeah, they do follow the same pattern. So keep that going. So let's go over here. Nice part about this is it's already lined up a little bit on this side, so we just got to go off that. So every time this tapers in 10 floors, and that's like only three times. So let's take a look at here. So we have the one, two, three, four, four floors. So we have six floors on this path yet to go straight up. So what does that mean for you? That means just watch what I'm doing. Uh, so go up one floor. You have one, two, three, four. Iron. Get your, uh, keep your ice out. Or not ice. We're not using ice anymore. What is that? That's 30 Hudson Yards. Go watch that video. <laughs> after this. So go back one right here and we'll be going up another three floors. So you have the two, three, four iron. And I'm not going to explain this anymore for a little bit. My my voice is getting dry just talking about fours and twos. Connect them. Now this side will line up with this side. This is You're going off this side for when it tapers in the building since we already did that. Now let's go down here. How many floors do we have on this side already ready to go? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight. We need two more floors along this 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 line, this straight line right here. And let's go up two floors perfectly. Yes. Glass out. Keep your glass out. Go back one on top of this. And match up with that side. This is two floors though. Let's 
like that. Connect these guys. They want to meet so bad. They want to be together. Okay, so let's go over here and connect these corners both sides. Look at that. So pretty. And so now we have a flat floor uh, wall right here, or whatever you want to call it, of 10 floors. You have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 floors. That means this side now goes in one block since we already have 10 floors of it. And sorry if I'm redundant, I'm just trying to get this drilled into your minds what we are doing. Connect this side right here like this. Okay. And up. Let's go up however many floors this goes up. We'll go up two floors. We're actually until we'll go up until uh, uh, it tapers in. So we're going to do three floors now. See the one, two, three, four. Iron. I'm not counting anymore. That's right. <laughs> Okay, we just did three floors there. And we'll stay on this line right here going up. We have three floors, so we need seven more. Let's look over here. I believe we go in the building now. We go in the building. Yes, we go over one. And we're going to go up two floors. See the two, three, four. Another one of those. Connect these guys. And we'll connect these corners as we're at it, or while we're doing this. Connect these. We're getting a lot done here, a lot done. So we have five, we have five more to go up this portion right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna go back another one, you wanna go up three floors. So the one, two, three, four, you do this, this floor, you do it three times. Okay, we have that. So that means we have eight floors on this side. Connect these guys, or gals, whatever, or whatever they want to identify as, I guess. <laughs> and connect these corners. They are blocks, though. And connect them like that. And now get your glass back out. What do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more floors. I believe I did count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight floors. And we need two more on this side that go straight up. Uh, go back one block and we'll do two more floors, which is perfect. One, two, three, four, the iron, and another floor. Perfect. So we have 10 floors now on this side. This side's going to go in now. One block. Like that. Okay. Do not place in this one right here. Go over one. Place right there. Now move back one like this. And now we're just going to match the same height as that. The same, same everything about that side. So you got the two, three, four, iron, we're doing three floors, and it just goes up the rest of the way with the building. I'm very happy how this is turning out. We are doing really good. We're moving along just perfectly fine now. And look at, we're getting so close to doing the crown of the building. Next observatory deck, and then crown. And the crown, look how beautiful that is, especially at night. It lights up beautifully, as you saw in the beginning of the video. I do recommend lighting that up. And we have the building so far. Now, uh, I'm going to fill all this in off camera cause it is, because it's a boatload of work to do. Like, if I do this on camera, it'll be another hour here or here. <laughs> so let me do that off camera, and we'll we'll get right moving on top there. And I'm really excited to continue. Okay, everybody, we're ready to move on. That's all filled in. But before we move on, I want to review what we just did. Um, well, what I did while I was just off camera filling it in. So what I did is took these vents right here. I copied it from each floor over to here. I didn't actually copy it, but like I went off the same level that we were on. So you take that level, you look over here, you fill it in. Um, but of course, you're going to have a different layouts of glass every time. That is decided by wherever these glass panes fall. So you never want to put, say, let's go down to the one below. So you have one that separates the edge right up there. Uh, let's go down to the next one. So this one lines up with this one over here that we did earlier. And actually, just like this side where there's two, 
there will be two right here, just how it falls. You never want to have here one here in the corner where it like connects to a glass pane or just in the corner. That looks odd. And down here, as you see, this continues over to here on this side, which is considered the front of the building. And there's two as well here. Let's go down. Over here, it's different. We have this one from earlier, that side we did that earlier. And then you just copy it over to here. Uh, but there's one right here. And that's what we have for that side. So there's four, four of those, four levels of vents in this side. <clears throat> and I'm going to back up so you can see it. And so if you want, you can even count right here. Okay. So uh, you're probably wondering if there's any right here, because there was none on that side. But yes, right here, there are some that go up. So the first first row of them right here, there are three. And you have the two, two full blocks, and then you have those. Let's move up. Right here, you have one that separates the three. There's three there, though. And we continue. Next level right here, you have one that separates the three. Right here, the final level that we did, there's the, the two that stop that right there, and then there's one right here, and then they, there's three of those. Um, yes, you're probably wondering as well, over here, do we do them over here? And no, you do not. The final design does not have them. I did them on the tutorial. You can see them kind of. Uh, but the final design does not have them, so you do not have to do any on that side. Just make sure you do the, the panes that, that go uh, vertically up the whole building there. Okay, so we have that. All the glass panes are ready to go. Everything's all good. Um, I'm not sure if I said this already, but you can see that I have some white concrete below the windows. Um, you can use white concrete or you can use the, the quartz, the smooth quartz or whatever. Uh, I did the floor, well, the ceilings as well, each floor, so it makes it look more full as we build. But let's continue. So you can see we're getting pretty high up here, and I just love this view of the building. I, I really just love how that turned out. And if you make it in your world, it's going to look great with the rest of your buildings in the city. I do recommend not building this next to the Chrysler building, though, my tutorial, my Chrysler tutorial, because um, my my recent one does not, you know, match the scale of, you know, this or whatever, because this is much taller than the Chrysler building in real life. So let's continue, as I said, let's start right over here. Get your uh, glass out, but this time we're, we're going to use white stained glass. So get white stained glass out, white stained. And it's going to be a little bit different now. So we're going to go back one right here, and we are going to go to the other end over here. Like that, okay? And we are going to do one floor at a time here. Let's let's go back over here, and we'll do four high. Okay, iron block back out. Get two of them out, or two two levels of it, or whatever you want to call it. Two, yeah, layers. Yeah, that's the word, layers. Two layers. Okay, what we can do now is um. Let's look, look back here. We're going to go up on top of this one, another two, well, another one, another one floor, I mean. But I want you to stop right at the end. Do not fill that last one in right there and go four up. One more. Very cool. Okay. Now get your two iron out on top of this. Very good, and yes, the glass panes do continue. The not the vent ones, but the the vertical ones that go up the whole building continue up the building, like that. Okay, so I'll do the rest, you know, off camera, of course. Um, but let's let's continue going upward of the building. Let's make this thing tall. Let's go back another block now, and this is where it gets kind of easy. It just goes straight up now. Uh, but we're going to be using uh, the white glass yet. So we're going to do one more floor of the white glass. But this is going to change. So instead of doing four high of these, we're going to do five blocks of glass, the white glass, for this floor. And it's going to be the same height, though, for the floor. It's just that we are kind of making the floor look bigger. But it's only gonna be, there's only going to be like one block of iron above this. So don't add two. Do not add two. Add one layer right here. And this is the last floor of white glass for this side. Okay, we have that so far. And we are going to add two floors now of light, light gray. Let me go back down here and pick block it. Pick block in between right there. And go directly right above it like this. 
And we're going to add details now. This There's going to be details in this floor, but we'll add them after we build this one up right here. Um, we're going to go up five blocks again, but with light stained gray glass. Not white, light gray. I'm trying to be as clear as possible here. Four, five. Okay, we have that. Uh, iron back out. And I want you to place it on top here, one layer of that. Okay, we have that so far. And now we are going to uh, go up. One, two, three, four, five. I'm looking at my instructions here. Uh, we're going to go up five again. And you can see on my coordinates, we're almost at a 200 block high limit. Okay, so we have that. And yes, by the way, uh, if you're wondering, this isn't scaled with my World Trade Center, my iconic one World Trade Center design. Um, the one from like two years ago or whatever at this point <laughs> releasing the video uh, but yes uh, it is scaled for that purpose uh, with that in mind I mean so anyway so let's continue so we have the five there um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to layer a single layer of the iron on top of this okay now follow me along here get your light stained glass back out and we will go over the one two three eight blocks of this glass. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we have that. And I am doing a quick check. And we are good. Get your white quartz slab. Now, half slab. Smooth quartz slab. I guess there's only one color. <laughs> uh, and then just lay it on top of this right here, like this. Okay. And this makes the angle of the side of the building. And two, three. And I'm counting over what we're going to be doing here. And lay down nine. So you have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And yes, this side is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 nine right here in the middle. Okay. How to make sure I was getting that all right. Cool. Get your white concrete out now. Do I not have it on me right now? I might have to, I'm just going to throw this in the air. There it is, right here. Okay, so we have this back out. And now what you can do is go to this floor. We'll actually, let's go down below, right here. This is going to be a little different, this floor. I, uh, we're going to do more venting, venting systems here. So just take the gray stained glass paint out. Step back and this one right here, this floor, we, we're going to be doing the panes, which hopefully are not too much of a pain. Insert funny laugh there. Okay. So every other one, and I want to make sure it lines up. Yep. So go down one floor right here and put these in. They're going to be on this floor. And let me just fly over here to make sure we're using the right material for it. Uh, I want to make sure that it is as close to my design over here as possible. And as you see, it's going to have this, this kind of angle, this line go up the whole building, you know. Okay, we're using the right block and we'll be breaking into it again. As you see, we're starting to accomplish that angle of the building on that side. This is where it gets a little tricky, but it's not as hard as the bottom, I guarantee you that. So every other one, you do this. I placed that, I broke that one, I placed it right away. Didn't mean to do that. I guess I'm doing this all on camera because I want to make sure you guys don't get lost up here. There's a lot going towards the top of the building, a lot going on up here. Okay, so we have that. Get your white 
concrete up. And as you saw over there on that side, it's five, five blocks right here of the white concrete. So place five, you gotta break these. Five like that. Break five more right here. Do that with the white concrete. Break five more. It's hard to place them right there, okay. Break five more. And then break five more right here, the remaining ones. Okay, good job. If you did that, uh, we have the first piece like that, diagonal piece. And let's do that again right above it. And we'll do the same number since it's the same um, width of this floor. But now we don't have to deal with any panes. Like this. Okay, so we have that that angle, and it looks really good. And let's get the glass pane situation going here. So just continue it. I'm not going to do this on camera because I don't need to, but you should stop right at that level right there, right before it goes over the, the white quartz slab. And for up here, the other ones, they, these all, they all stop at the iron like this. Oops. Okay. So you have that right there and continue this going down. That's the first one right we have over here. Now let's let's spin around over to here. Let's do this right away. Uh, we need to go go down actually. Right over to here. Get your white glass back out. And I gotta pick block that again. Okay, so we have uh, those vent floor below and so I'm making sure we're starting at the right spot. Uh, go over, you can go actually go, go back one, let's start over here. Go back one, like that, and then you're going to go over one, like that. Go to this end, and leave that like that. So neither of these touch the ends, and you're going to go up four blocks. Iron block, another layer. Okay, we have that. And now, looking at what we got to do, we're going to continue that that pattern three more floors up. So it gets pretty simple. Uh, but yes, this is going to be two blocks each time for the iron. So let's continue the same design we are doing. Okay, iron block back out. Is that four? Yeah, that's four. Okay, that's good so far. Okay, now uh, go to this end right here. And this is going to be different than the this side over here. It's going to be on an angle. So let's let's continue that. Let's start that. Uh, we are going to go up four blocks on this corner right here. So go up one, two, three, four. Okay. And now this is going to descend um, six blocks. So what I mean right here, so you have the first run right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fill this little area in. Oopsies. Fill this area in. Okay, you have that little area, a four by six area filled in. And we'll be doing that again. But now it's gonna go three high. Three by six. Fill it in. Yes, you, you guessed it right. This continues. So go up two now. Go over six. Down, fill this in. 
and then one layer right here. So we have that. Now get your iron block out, lay one layer right here on top, like this. Go over here, skip those three right here, lay another layer, skip three, lay another layer of iron, the three of them, and then you can skip it again. Cool. So we have that now done. Get your quartz slab out. Let's fly up here to... Oh, actually, I already have it on me. Cool. Uh, these open ones right here that we, we did every other, just put that on top like that. Okay, we have that accomplished. Now we have this corner right here. Yes, we connect them like we did down there. Let's connect these now. Up here, connect them. And these connect like this. This is going to be a little bit different. Okay, we have this right here. Let's just do it like this for now. And I want to make sure that I'm using the right block. One in the glass. Yes, this is white glass right here. Okay, you should have that. Um, the, the panes should start to um, go up the building right here. You should lay them down every other and yes they go to the iron block and I'm looking at these ones up here either or it can actually lay on the iron block or not I'm going to lay it on there So just do this for every other one, and do that, what you see. Okay, so that's looking really good so far. We have that part done. So we are going to continue the rest. I'm going to do some of these panes, and then we can move on. Okay, that's all filled in, and now we can start on doing this side as well. This side's kind of easy compared to what we just did. Um, get your glass back out. Get the white glass out and here it is and we are going to do what we did on the other side so uh well not completely but you'll see so start right here and go to this other end on the other side and stop right there and go four blocks and i'm gonna try to move at a good speed because this can take a while up here, but I think if we do this right, it shouldn't take that long. Continue with the same thing up, next floor. When I stop like that, it means I'm looking at my reference image. More iron. And do the same thing right here. Okay, so we have that, and now we're ready to do the next angled curve, which is on this side, and this time it goes up to the left. So um, let's step back and look at that. Uh, before we do that, though, uh, make sure you have your glass panes here, continuing. Right to there for now. Every other. And you all get the point, so just continue doing that. Okay, so right here, go up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go over here and go up four. Get your iron block out, go over one, two. Well, we already have the one at the end, so we're going to be laying down eight. Because uh, we already have this one right here, so let's uh, let's pretend that we don't have this here. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go up one. Yeah, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go up another. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get your white quartz out. Lay two on top like that. Lay two right here. 
Not right there. Lay right here, there. Here, there, anywhere. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't put them anywhere. Okay, so we have that. Um, and continue filling this glass in right here. Doing every other for the glass pane as usual. And these will go all the way to the top above it. Sorry for any lag. It just like occurs randomly whenever I'm recording. Which is weird because like there's like no uh, like other buildings in this world besides like some tutorial buildings. Okay, so we have that done, uh, and this is the observ observatory up here, the deck where it all where you where all the public can go. So let's go back over here. We're gonna start on this side and continue with this corner right here. So counting right here, count uh one you know start with one one two three, four, five, six, seven. We are going to lay an additional 10 iron blocks, making a total of 17. So you have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's recount that. Let's go over here, say that one, eight, run right out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Perfect. Now we are going to go back a uh, total of five on the outside. Say the one, two, three, four, five, five, Okay, lay an additional uh, one right here, and that'll be a total of six, but you won't see that from outside because we're going to be placing right here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. As you see, we have five long there, and then you have six right there. Total of 17 right there. Let's bring this one back. Uh, we are going to line it up with this right here. And then just bring this back. I'm not counting this because we don't need to. Okay, we have that, and since we have that, get this this right here. Just connect that, and stop right there for that one. Okay, so just looking at it now, backing up, and what we can do now is look down here. Okay, get your white back out, white glass back out, and. I'm looking at my reference. And what we're going to do is we're going to place one right on top of this right here. Uh, so let me continue the pattern. Yes. Lay a layer right here. One, two, three, four. Right here as well. And then you go back one right here. Connect these. Iron back out. And just putting the iron block right on top of it. Okay, we have that so far. Look above it. Connect them. Iron back out. Okay, we have that so far then. Simple enough. Stepping back and looking at it. And now that we have that, what I want to do is continue to analyze what we just did. Um, let's go back really quickly over to here, checking my work. And we just we just did this right here. So we what we did wrong is we only did one thing wrong. Uh, is I went to the the end on the one above it. That one goes back. Okay, so that's that's simple. I just gotta break one line of blocks. Okay, so we just did these two floors right here. Just break the one. Like that. Okay, so we have that. Uh, and now what we can do is we can continue over here. But before we do that, since we have the observ observatory deck up here, observation deck, whatever you want to call it, I do want to lay some blocks here um, to to show what material we'll be using. It's what I use for many tutorials, but it's pretty much what they use for a lot of skyscrapers for decks. I don't know where the heck the block is at. 
Where the heck is it? There it is. Polish Insight. I was looking for this. I still can't find things. So just lay this on top like this. Over here as well. This corner right here, um, I'm going to fill it in for now, but I'll explain later on what this is right here, this corner. Okay, so we have that filled in. We are, we are all good to go on the next part here. And we are not taking any breaks. We're just going to continue here, actually. Uh, and what we will be doing is getting our white glass back out. Go right to this edge right here. And fill in right here what we have. Just like this. Okay, we have that. Continue. And just do that like that. So now we have the single what iron block, single block. Um, yes, we'll be doing more of these designs right here, but before we do that, let's just fill it in and make it simple. Uh, we are using the light gray stained glass again for this part. And I'm looking at my my reference to make sure we're all good here. Yeah, we're all good. Uh, so let's do another floor, and we are going to continue this right to this edge right here. And you notice we're using we used white glass right here, and now we're using light gray again. Iron. Okay, glass back out. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go up to this white iron block. We're going to keep, continue this floor. Pick block the iron. Lay it right here. Okay, so what we did is we placed um, one at the end right here. Break this one. Just go in like that. So you have two floors that line up and then one that doesn't. All good. Okay, now get your white quartz block back out. From this corner right here, this edge, count over five. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing right here. Solid blocks. And then like this. This will equal five here. Get your light stained glass out, light gray stained glass. Fill that in right there like that. Okay, we have that edge now. Uh, what you can do is you can fill in every other of the glass here and start right from right. Start from right here. Ooh, but before we do that, I'm gonna do one more line. Um, also, right here, this is going to be a little bit different than the rest of the building. Make sure this one hits that corner like that, and then you can bring it up. But I don't want to do all these lines just yet because we have to do the the detailed white concrete and of course these things will get in the way if we're doing that first or yeah first before that so white concrete back out let's let's fly right around here let's get this out okay so what we'll be doing is we'll be going up up here and this is going to be a little bit different than the sizing that we already did start right here at this edge count over three 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 and three, like that. Pretty simple. Uh, the one below it, it's going to be this similar. We're not going to go to this edge this time. We're going to just keep that glass, and we'll, we're going to continue that same three pattern we just did. So that's what we're doing right here. Okay, we have that. Look how beautiful. Uh, and now you can actually do the stain there, not yeah, the stained pane, whatever you want to call these panes. Uh, I think one can go right there. It really depends. I, I, I would do one right there that connects to it, only in this instance. And these do not touch that part layer up there.
and we're just doing what we've been doing. Okay, very cool. So we have that. You can see it. You can start to see it taking shape. Look how big that is. Okay. Oh, uh, let's go to the side over here now. Continue this design right here. We're gonna line it up with this guy right here. We're gonna line it up in the floor. Iron back out. Lay it on top of there. Lay it down. Go back a block with the light gray. Like so. Iron block right here. White quartz. Keep it three. So three total like that. Checking with my work here, and we are all good. Look at that. Okay, now we have that done. We are going to go on to the next part here. Get your white glass back out. Bring it to the end right here. Bring it up another floor. Get your iron back out. Single layer right here. Just a reminder, these are five right here. Glass is back out with us again. And I'm checking to make sure these go straight up. And by God, they do. So these next two floors are going to be straight up. They're not going to go back on the side. It's going to go on top of that like that. Iron block right here. Okay, we have that so far. Now that we have that, get your white concrete back out. Pick block, pick block that. <laughs> Barely speak sometimes. Right here, lay three of the white concrete. Another three. Okay, go above it. Three. Another three, and a single one. That's what we have so far. Checking everywhere else, make sure we don't have any more, and we do not. Now, in my example, on uh, that's over there, I have one that goes into the glass right here. I'm going to continue that. Okay, time for glass panes. Yes, they do line up with like everything else. Um, we'll start with uh, this one right here. And go to, the, go to the iron like that. And as you see, not putting one right here, but up here we will, right here. Like that. Let's look over here. We're gonna use this to line it up. Okay, so this tells us this one's right here. It'll line up with that block, and it'll go straight up. One at the edge. Look at that. There we go. So we have that right there, and we can continue on the side over here. And I'm just... Look in, make sure it's all good. Okay, now get your white glass back out. And you're going to go right on top of this right here. Uh, we're going to layer, lay a single layer, which is going to be the same as over there, which is five. Connect these guys. Iron block. Right here. Okay, we have that. Now, yes, these do, these do connect now, like that. Sorry, this can get confusing when you look at it, because like, you know, the transparency and you have all these white blocks around it, it can get confusing to look at, I understand. So that's what we have right there. And iron blocks, of course, like that. One like that. Okay, we're gonna go up another floor, uh, and it's going to be whatever materials right here, which is the light gray stained glass. We're we're gonna go up five again. 
two, three, four, five. Connect these. We'll do this. We'll do the design after. These ones are actually different than um, the, the other side. It's going to be a lot like that. It's going to be actually a lot like, just like that, but two floors of it. Let's fill this in right here. Okay. Iron block. Very good. One more floor. Two, three, four, five. Iron block right here. Oopsies. <laughs> and fill this in again. Let me go down below and establish where the panes will be. So every other, as I always say, it's going to start right here. Let's get let's get this laid down right here, so I can place it easier. You know, every other, as I said, and that continues all the way up. So we have that. Uh, now here, what we'll be doing is. We are going to do what we did on the other side, and what I want to do is we're going to count over one, two, break every other one. Okay, so we have two at that end, two in that end. Get your Gray stained glass paint out, fill in every other one. Like that. You can go ahead and do the same thing below it. And actually, I don't think I need to do that on camera. I'll just tell you, to, whatever you do above it is what you're going to do below. So just break every other one. And if I need to do it on camera, I will. But let's let's get the white concrete out right away. And let's look at what we're going to be doing. So go to this end right over here. Break four of them. Like that. And now we are going to go up five each time. So one, two, three. Three, four, five. Lay them down here. One, two, three, four, five. I, don't, I didn't even break that one. <laughs> three, four, five. Again. Four, and then five. And you have four up here. Okay, we have that. Okay, what we'll be doing now is... I'm just reviewing my work. Okay, same thing done below it. This will be four. Then, you know, five again. Is that five? Five up here. Five. And then five, well, four up here. Okay, so that's the same thing that we just did right there. Do what we did right there, bring it down there, and bring those glass panes up so they finish off that side. Let me fill one line in here. So just bring these up. Like that, every other one. Okay, that design's done, and we can move on to the next part. And while we're up here, get your light gray stained glass back out. <laughs> Go to this corner right over here, place that, and we are going to go over this way. And go to the, let me look back here. And you can stay right there at that edge right there. I'm 
checking my work. And yes, you can actually go back another block right there. Go up four blocks. Okay, we have that. Go up another block. Iron. More glass. Wait a second. Okay. I was getting ahead of myself there. So just continue what we're doing. Okay, we got five there. And lay your iron on top of that. Okay, now what you can do is get your white quartz slab back out and go over a one, two. So you have the one, two right here. On the third block, you can place four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then place right there, go to the one behind it, place four, so four solid. <laughs> Couldn't get that out. Okay, up here, you'll be doing the same. Solid again, up for the four. And then one more row of the four. Get your glass back out, lay it below here. Voila, wow, there's that. Bring the glass panes, continue the glass panes up. So that one's going to be right there. So it just goes in and continues its its um, rise up the building. Okay, so that's done. Let's just look around over to here. We'll be starting on this side next. Uh, we'll get to the back. Don't worry, the back is coming up here in a second. Not actual second, but <laughs> uh, let's take a look. I'm taking a look at my reference. One, two, three. Over nine. Okay, so go over right here, get iron block back out. Go over nine. One, two. Well, you already have the, the one right here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. And I'm going to go over here to the other one, the prototype, and confirm that number. So we're right over here. So we, we just, we're working right here. So we have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight total. Let's look at the total. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's do that right away. Working my way back here. So we had the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Break that last one we put right there. Okay, we have that. And bring this like that. And we'll go five up. Iron block, the one. Go down here now. Fill these in. That's what you should have so far. We'll go another level up, which is going to be uh, five as well. But stop one short right there. Leave that one open. We're just filling this in. Iron bo block back out. Go right to the edge right there. Okay, so we have that out. 
you have that done, I mean, sorry. And one, two, three, four. Counting this one right here, go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get your quartz back out. Count over one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and put three right there as well. We have that edge made right there. White concrete back out. Right here at this corner, put two right here, two white concrete. And we'll be going down three each time. And two right there. Four below it, we'll be doing the same thing. One, two. Hard to place these sometimes. Three right here. And that's what we have so far. And above that is the final pinnacle part of the tower, the, the spire. So we have that. Uh, let's go over here. Since we started with this, we made this over here. Go right here, right here to this and go five. Break five. Don't break that one back there. Break five. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll be going up five each time. Another five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. And the two right here. And that's not correct. Five. Okay, so right here, made a little boo boo. These be five, these are five. And then all the other ones in between it are four. Break this. Okay, we fix that. See, all the angles are different, all the numbers are different. So we have right here five, four, 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 five. Sorry, I made a little boo boo there. If it was a big mistake, as I said in the past, I would edit that out, but I don't see the need to. So we're going to do five right here as well. Four. Four. Another four and five. Look at that. There we go. Lines up perfect. Sweet. That's done. Don't forget. Do what we did right here. Put it. Do the same thing below it. This is really starting to come together now. Okay. So I'm going to do some work off camera. I'm going to fill in all those panes, and then we are going to get to doing the back then, right here, which is not really the back, but I don't know what, what's considered the back. I guess that you can say this is the back. And as I said, don't do these panes down there. You don't have to do those. I just did it for the tutorial because I wasn't sure quite at the time. Uh, so I'm going to be right back. Okay, here we are. Let's continue uh, on to the back now. And you'll need your white glass block out. And we'll be starting right above the um, area where we stopped, of course. And let me look down at the building and see that we are going to go to the other end here. Right to here white glass, four blocks up. Iron back out, too high. And with each floor we can connect these again like we did before. And fill it in as we go up. Okay, and now since we already have that side already done uh, for the edge, like where it goes in and everything, we, all we have to do is the left side of the building here. And so it's just going to continue. We're going to follow the same design we've been doing down here with the spacing, which I'm looking at right now, and it is three, three, well, it's, what is it, three? I'm looking at three, yeah, okay. Sometimes this really messes with my eyes. It's looking at it. It just messes with my eyes. <laughs> it's like an optical illusion for some reason. Okay. So we're going to go back one now. This side right here goes back like that. 
connect these two. These will go up the four blocks. And looking down there. We're just going to connect these going up. I don't think I'm going to do this each floor. Uh, the corner is quite like self-explanatory. This side of the building is always laggy for me for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's a spot in the world, unless you guys can't see it. So we have this right here, final line of this. Okay, And now what we do is we continue going up on this side. And I'm checking my work. And yes, so we're going to go up with two more floors now, uh, the same level. Uh, get your white glass, keep your white glass out actually, go up another floor. And this time it's the five blocks. So we did two sets of the four and now we're doing one five. And just continue what we did around here. Connect these. Connect it to the other side here. Iron block above this. Connect those. See, this is against the edge still, too, and this one's going to be against the edge, so they're going to line up, go up five again. Even though that doesn't look like a full five, it is. And we'll do the, the white concrete pieces when we're done putting the solid walls in here. Iron block above that. And I think we just did we did white here. This should be like gray, this this area. Make sure you don't do white here. I was counting with the white and then I forgot that I was using it. So this this right here, this floor will be gray. And let me re-explain what I just did below. Okay, so we did one white there, one white there, another white. So three whites we just did, three floors of white, now we're doing uh, gray again. So back to the gray, and we'll be doing gray again. So another level of that, uh, but we are going to go over another block on this side, over one, and like so it should be like this. I'll leave that one open, but line up with this edge over here. This is the five gray glass again, five of these. Connect to this side. See this iron right here? I count an additional two over now. White quartz block back out, the smooth quartz, I mean. And I believe we never finished this over here, this this edge right here. Did we never? We never finished it, I believe. So let me just take a look and just uh, lay this right here like this. We never did that. Don't know why I didn't do that, but there it is. <laughs> uh, and now uh, over here, we have the three that we already put down, and then put in another two. Okay, and then right here will be a white concrete, two white concrete. And since that's there already, we'll go right here, put two as well, and then single spaced ones right here. Okay, let's go down below right here. Right here. And the two, like that. This one right here will just be a glass, just regular glass filled in. So that's done. Um, let's get the iron back out and go right to this level right here. Continue this around here. Like that. And now looking at it, you will go an additional two blocks, like that. See, we're, we're at this edge right here. Let me fill some of this in so it's not as confusing. I feel like this might be a little confusing to look at what we are doing here. And I do not want anybody to be confused as I'm doing this. Also, you need to slow me down here. You can slow down the speed at which you're watching this so you can see me place everything slower. Okay, 
So just fill this all in with the glass panes going up and see this is different right here. Let me back up a little bit. That's what we have so far. And now that we are down here, let's go down a little bit right here um, to the, the, the gray area. Get your white concrete back out and count over three each time right here, starting right here at this corner. It should line up with this edge right there. We're going to go over three each time, going upward to the left. Three, another three, another three, and the last one should be longer than the rest, which is normal, which will be four. Like that. Okay, and now we also have to do the other one right above it, and that will be the same. Uh, but the edge will not be four, it will be three. One, two, I'm counting a little bit backwards here. Three, another three. As hard as, as hard as the top of the building is to do, I would say 30 cuts and yards, that top had me more confused <laughs> when I was making that than anything. So we have that right there, those lines. Now that that's done, get your light gray glass back out. And we are going to continue making this thing taller because, yes, it's a tall book. <laughs> so let's count up uh, another five blocks. So either one, two, three, four, five. Get your iron over here, bring it over, connect it. One, two, three, four, five. Iron back over here, connect it. So we have that height now. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit different here. Two, three, four. Uh, we are going to break some blocks here. We just laid this one right up, up here now. Now we are going to break seven of them. So from this end, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See this fifth glass block we placed? Break that one and place this until it lines up right to the there, So which is seven. And this should be seven right here as well. Okay, now we did that, get your white concrete back out. Now, picture you have all this glass already filled in. It's easier to do the designs when the glass is already put in. Uh, now we're going to get the concrete in place at four, and then we're going to go down three the opposite way. Uh, same sort of design that we've been doing right below here. We're going to go three here, another three, and then the last one right here will be a four. Like that. Let's go right below it. The one below it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to start here at this end again. Three. Then we'll do three the rest of the way down here. And we have two right there at the end. So that's what we have. Fill this all in with the glass, glass, uh, glass panes going vertically. Get all that done. Uh, and that will be easier when placing uh, these next parts here to the, to the left right here. So what we can do is get glass panes, or not glass panes, the full gray block out. And let's fill it into right to there. See what we just did there? We did five. Right here, let's fill this in right here. Put the other glass block right there. That's a dish that makes it total five. Iron out. Uh, the iron. Let's put glass here. Here's the iron. Okay, place the iron another block right there. And then the rest will go right up to here and will line up with that iron. That's what you have right there. Looking at it from this angle so you can see it better. Okay, so we have that. Uh, quartz, smooth quartz out. Place one, two, three. Okay, place another three, but make it a full block like that. Now we are going to let me take a look here. We are going to get three blocks. Get your glass back out. Place one right here, one right here. And to mark what we're going to be doing, place two white concrete right there. This will make sense real soon. Not quite yet, though. <laughs> so we're going to add an additional block right to here, making this a total of seven blocks long. Add an additional right here. 
add one right there. And yes, that's fine. Fill this in. This is just going to be a corner block that you'll not see from the outside of the building. So we have that three right there, that three long. We gotta fill that in. So let's go right here. I think it lines up with that, yeah. Iron block back out. Back the glass and they're five blocks tall. Iron. Another five. Now we are working, officially we're working on the spire. You just don't know it yet. Okay, we have that there looking beautiful. And now what we can do is start bringing these things together here. So let me count what we're going to be doing. One, two, one, two, three. 13 blocks long, not uh, the best number to be using for a skyscraper, but we're using 13. So see this right here, count additional three over. We have that now. Um, and then put glass here. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's go down here. This iron block right here uh, will not actually continue. I don't believe we don't need these that iron block. So what we're going to do is we're going to break these ones for now. Um, these are where the white concrete will be in a bit, in a short time. So let's actually replace these iron with the white concrete for now that one that one anyways let's go up here see this right here right above it go block above it place white concrete right there break this right here replace this with white concrete see that like that so let's take a look at it see the three this continues right over here white concrete one above it which makes it two right there and two right there Two right here, space that out, you're all good. Okay, folks. Now we're going to do this side. Let me go over here for reference because I got to be honest, I do kind of forget certain parts of it, but we're going to make sure we get it right by just going over here and looking at it. So as you see, we, we were just working on this part right here, and I was just explaining this portion right here. This makes sense now that you look at it, you're like, oh. <laughs> uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's not 13, it's 12, but below it is 13. That's the number. I remember that number. Okay. So down here will be 13. Let's fly over. So we had 13 right here, break that one. Let's go right to here. Let's bring this down a few blocks. See this one right here? Let's match it up. We're going to bump it out, bump it to the left a little bit right there. That's going to make the base now 13. Let's continue this going down here. Line these ones up. Get your white concrete out. Let's line them up. Go right below the glass we laid from before. And let's join these guys together right here. And I'll explain how big these are. So this is four from the outside, three on the outside. And then this is just whatever we had before. Let's continue this below here. So we have something to ground the glass to. Okay, this makes it quite simple. We got through right here and then this. And we're just going to fill these in. There's going to be a pattern on here and we will get to that. So let's just fill this in first. I don't know why I'm placing that. I don't want to place this. Just fill this in with the glass first. The glass we did place on the other side though will help us line it up. See how this bumps right here? Let's bring these 
together like that. Fill this in below. This as well. This right here will connect to this. And I'm only going to bring it right to below the iron there for now. Just for now. So you see what we're doing right here? Fill this area in as well. Okay, we have that. Now it's plain, it's not going to stay like that. So let's do a little bit of this one right here. Let's start at the top. Go over three. Another three. Two. Like that. We can go below it now. Uh, we are going to actually line up with the one that we already placed right here. This right here. And this is going to be a total of four as well. It's going to line up with that. Go over three like this. Three. Three. See that? Go below it again. We're going to line up with this one right here. Sweet, we already did these. I told you these would make it easy. <laughs> uh, and then do another three, making it a total of four. And we're going to drop down three again. Three again. Three again. Just like that. Okay, so we have that. Um, glass panes are going to go every other like they've been going up. But let's go to the corner now. I do forget the corner a little bit. Let's go look at the corner. Get that right. And then this part will be the last part of the tutorial, which look, you know, we're like right there almost. You can see it. You can see the light. Not the dying kind of light. I'm not dying. So this, this the block it just continues straight over to its left. And then ours will stop right there. So let's go over there. Okay, we're back here. Let's just place the white concrete like that. This right here. And so that is what we have right now. Make sure that's all filled in back there. And this white, this this iron right here, just connect it to there like that. And let me show you what the other corner, the top of that part we need to do, looks like. So that goes over a total of four on the outside and then five touches the inside. And then you have this white quartz right here we need to do. And this glass will just line up with that ever so flawlessly. So get your white quartz slab out. Just like that. And then we already have the fifth block right there that we that we put down. Okay, so we have that so far. That is the top so far in the tutorial. Get your stone out. Uh, let me explain one thing really quickly. And there's the stone. Now right here is a, a mechanical floor, so you put this stone right here on this floor. And let me get the white concrete out, put it below the, I don't want to break that, oopsies. Put below the window, for clean, so it looks clean, I don't want stone below the window, it just doesn't look right then. So you're just filling this outside area. Okay, we have that so far then. Cool, so that's all done right there with the stone, and I'm going to do all the other work off camera, and then we are going to finish this building. I think we'll finish it in the next part. I don't know why this piece of glass is right here though. <laughs> and, oh, okay, I was working. 
Okay, so we have that so far. I'm going to fill this in off camera and let's get to it. That's all filled in and let's move on to the next part. Before we continue though, I want to make note that down here, the level where we did the vending system right here, I did another two over here on this side. Uh, so make sure you have two right there. So it's just one over from the from the edge there and you have two. No, no three. Another note, let's go over here to the observation deck. Right here I have some bushes and the trap doors. That's because right here uh, there is two elevators in real life. And that only allows us to have one, though, in Minecraft. And so if you want to, you can put like, a glass box, and then you can use commands to make it actually work. Uh, I'm not going to do that in a tutorial, because that would take way too long, and we're already over time here. <laughs> uh, as you see right here, there's more vents. These ones continue from around here, and they happen to continue right there on the next floor. So the two floors of that right here. What else do I have to make note of? Yes, so if you're wondering where the outdoor columns should be going, it's about, go to this corner right here and then space them out, three, four, four, three. But it really just depends what the interior columns will end up being for you. Uh, I do recommend using columns, because without columns, the building cannot stand in real life. Let's go up here now, and as you see, I started making, I uh, started doing more work. I have these ceilings down. Uh, that is pretty easy to tell where. I didn't have to really do that on camera, because it's always the, uh, it's always below below the iron right here. So say you have two iron, it's always the one below. But right here it's glass since we're trying to do an optical illusion to make the floors look bigger. But each floor, imagine, it's like that. Okay, so let's move on to this part up here. Get your stone out. I didn't do this on camera to save time. Uh, go over five from the corner right here. Let me zoom out to see where we're at so you all know where we're at. This is considered the back of the building. So add five blocks. Bring it to this edge down here. Continue it down here. Go off uh, right here, once you have a rectangular stone um, piece placed in here, count off this wall four, bring it to the end as a rectangle. Over here, count off the wall three, and then bring it to that end right here. Simple enough. Okay, now moving on to the top part here, as you see we have the shape. I decided to do it like this to make it as easy as possible to explain, and this is the difficult part of the building to explain, so I want to make it easy. So going right here in the corner, pretend there's none of this here. I'm going to count what I laid down here. So get your light gray glass out. Go one back on each corner and go up one, two, three, four, five. Place one white concrete. Go up one, two, three, four, five. Place one more concrete. Go back on both corners. Place one, two, three, four, five of the glass. One white concrete. One, two, three, four, five white concrete. Now let's go over here uh, into this corner that we did not do yet and go back one block and place one, two of the glass and then one white concrete. Now let's add another additional three white, uh, glass, one, two, three. Go back to your right, now right one block, say one, two of the light gray glass, additional one white concrete. Now let's go up three of the glass, one, two, three, and back, back one space and put two of them. Sorry if I'm going too fast here. Okay, let's add another white concrete right here, one right here above the two that we just placed, and let's do another glass uh, block, more glass blocks of one, two, three, four, five, and white concrete. That side is done now, and what you can do is you can actually connect these guys. And I'm backing up to see what I did, and so what you want to do uh, is place another two right here. And I want to make sure that's correct, so let's fly over here really quickly. I don't have every reference image next to me. I believe I may have done that a little backwards. Okay, so this one's two, and then three, three, one. So let's go back here and do that. You don't want it to look rounded like that. So right here, place one, two, well, you have one, you have a total of two, then go over three. Put your white concrete back there that I broke. You should have that. Okay, now that that's done, let's go right here. And we are going to continue the pattern you see up here, right here. Two, and then three. Additional three. You should have that. Over here now, we're going to do three this time, not two of the total. We're not going to have uh, two total. We're going to have three total. So place two now. 
down three. Another three. Should join with that one white one right there. Go right here, place one, two. Yeah, three. And you connect right with this and making it a two. Now what you can do is you can fill all that in and put your glass panes up. Quite self-explanatory at this point in the tutorial. Uh, let's go up here. As you see, we have to join these sides together. So what does that mean? It means we're going to put three here. And it should look like that. Three, three, three. Over here now, go over three. Okay, now what you're thinking is, we didn't do this corner yet. Uh, so we started doing this in the air. So imagine the left side's not there. So let's go down here now and uh, line them up. So let's start right here with white concrete. You have one block of white concrete. Now go up with the glass. One, two, three, four, five. And yes, by the way, this white concrete, I laid it on the edge of this of the stone that we laid here. So you're just going to lay that. You're going to line it up with this right here at the end. You're going to bring it over until you hit that corner of the stone. But let me count right here. So you have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight total long of the white concrete. On this side, it's one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let me let me check that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. Okay, I made a little mistake there. And then this total right here will be the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just checking those numbers. So let's go to this corner where we have the white concrete and lay one block right here, the white concrete. And yes, below uh, the corner down here, we need to make sure we start forming the inside of this with the the structure. Now I didn't do the rest of the building with the structure, but you need to have a structure in here to make it look good. It defines the edges of the interior. So I'm just lining this up with the corner here. Okay, let's go back right here now. And let's count up with the glass now. Sorry, we, we, we've, done, we've pretty much looked at this corner like three times. So you have the one white concrete. One, two, three, four, five of the glass. Sorry, I fell there. Add an additional white piece of concrete. So you have one right here on top of the, the five glass. Let's count one, two, three, four, five of the glass, back one, and back one on this side, so go in one by one, place one white concrete here, go up with the glass, one, two, three, four, five, it's always five with the glass, by the way, put one white concrete above that, go directly above it, and you should be running into your white concrete lines that we started putting here, so we have the one, two, three, four, five of the glass, place one white concrete, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't actually have to place it since we already have these three right here. And let's finish that right here. So right here, it's going to be four now because we want to line up with these blocks up here. So let's go over. Uh, we're going to add three this time, making a total of four, and add three right here. Go right here. Four total. And I'm doing three. So three, four, oh no, four, three, four, right there confusing myself. So I don't believe this block was here before I added it off, off camera. So this, this is four right here. Add the white concrete. Go to this edge right here that we started off with. Add additional three blocks right there. And put three in the middle right there. So it's four, three, five total since it bumps out another block right here. Okay, fill these all in with the glass. It's every other with the glass panes, yes. It's still every other that follows the same pattern we've been doing the whole building. And then continues up. I can't place it because there's no glass in here yet. But let's go over here now. Just go to this corner right here. Get your glass back out. And this is quite simple since we have all those three sides done. We really just got to line it up with the the angles. But I don't know if everybody knows what that means. So let's let's just do it. So get your glass block out. Go up one, two, one piece of concrete, one, two, three of glass on top of that. This makes it a total six, total of six blocks. Okay, now go over one block. So we're gonna we're gonna like be looking at it this way. Go over one block to your right and go up two with the glass, one with the white concrete, then you have three more on top of that with the glass. So two, one, three. 
Now let's step back one and place one, two of the glass blocks with one concrete above it. Directly above that, place one, two, three of the glass. To the right, go over one and place two of the glass with white concrete above that. Now let's go directly above this and place one, two, three, four, five. Five of the glass, one white concrete. Now since we're up here, that's done. We have all our corners. Get your white concrete, well not white concrete, the smooth uh, quartz slab out and do this like that. This makes it smooth for the angle on the outside. Okay, now looking right here with the white concrete, we can continue. Place two more right here, one, two. Now what you want to do is Actually, like that, make it two. We need steps. And where are the steps? Let's see. Smooth quartz stairs. Put one right there. Quartz slab out. Place one right here. And now, go right here to this edge right here. Place one. And I may be doing this a little backwards. Um, it's still the right number. I'm just probably not placing it the best way I could be placing it. And now right above here. Oh, okay. And that is checking my work. Making sure we are all correct. Oh. And we're going to come back to that, so picture that with the stair, white slab, the two, stair, slab. Keep that in mind. Stay right here. I'm going to, uh, well, not stay right here, but let's go to this side really quick and do this one. Um, it's all right. Sometimes I forget. I'm not perfect. So white, um, well, the smooth, use the slab we keep using. Place two. Get your stair out. And I don't know that, I don't know, there was a way of placing blocks in air, but I don't remember how to do that. Place that. Now you can place your step right here, place one right there. Get your white concrete out and let's place two more of these. Get your slab out, put that there, stair back out and let's place a, a uh, temporary white block there and put the step on top. Okay, you should have that. until I fix it. Because we know these aren't, it's never easy doing the top. This is the hardest part for me, by the way, uh, is the top of the building, uh, besides the base of the building. I, uh, this is the part that gives me the hardest part. So just bear with me right now. Okay, that's what you should have right there. Two steps, go down one, two steps, go over one, that's what you have. Let me back up so you can take a look at that. Let me back up over here so you can take a look at that. And let me go check. I just want to check to make sure we are doing this correct because this is very important that we get the top of it right. We want to get the top right. And look at that. We did get that right. And right here, see, this is different. So it's a full block and then a step. I'm just trying to memorize this for when I go over. I'm not dumb and place the wrong one. Okay, let's go over here. We're going back now. I fall back. Okay, so white concrete out this right here place one white concrete back from here get your step out and that's what we should have course this is the most 
time consuming part. Okay, there we go. We are all good. And I want to make sure this is all correct. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you should have. I'm stepping back so you take a look at it. And you have two white concrete, the slab, stair, white slab, full block right here. Steps, white concrete, two of those. Three white concrete, go in the middle of it, place the one slab, stair at the end. Slab, slab, stair, slab, slab, uh, concrete. Over here is quite self-explanatory. Same thing for right here. Okay, so that part's done. <laughs> So happy. Uh, now, we didn't do these these angles yet, so let's do some of these angles. So going right here, let's go to this side, that side's done. We'll go right here, and what you could do is you could place two going down, a little different than the other sides, too. It's because the building gets smaller right here up this part part. So we're going down this way now, two. And you shove one at the end. Now let's go right over here. Now we're going to place three, one, two, three. Place an additional three. And another two now. I am uh, making sure this is all right. And I do believe so. Let me just check this. Sorry for about going back and forth. Let me make sure this is kind of get this right. This is the top of the building. And it's so great having a reference. I can just come back here and reference and see, yes, it's three, three, two. Now down below we're gonna fly back over there. Uh, but you see it's a little different here. It's going to be the three, three, two, one. And it looks like I continue that pattern quite often. Let's go back over here. So let's get our glass block out. Place one right here. Makes it easy to place this. And we're lining up with that top one right there. Going down three twice and then that's the last one right there's two. So you have the one Two, three, three. Now, going down here, I'm gonna start right here. Go from this, this right here. Let's go up three. We'll go up one. See now we're lining up with that. Three. Even though that's correct, I always, I'm always so, I'm not really so uh, sure of myself in my building. So let me just make sure. The whole build tutorial, the tutorial is all correct. It's just, uh, I'm never too sure. I'm indecisive, see? I w I'm right to be indecisive because right here it's two and then three, three, three. Even though I just saw this. Let's fly back. We fly. So place one right there. Look at that. So two, three, 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 one. <laughs> That's done. So fill it all in with the glass, glass panes as well. Right here, let's add an additional four blocks. One, two, three, four. Add three blocks, additional three blocks right here. Or no, not right there, but above it, sorry. So you have a total of five, three, and then out there it's three, two. Now right here, we are going to do this side. And let's start right here at this top part. And we are going to go down three. One down level, well like one level, but three. And now two. And you see it kind of connects with that right there, that, that motion. 
you know. So let's go below here now. Place additional two. And now three. And as you can see, it's it's going to, it's going to get weird here. So we're placing two right there, and then one right there like that. So it bumps out. It bumps out one. The total of two there though. I think we have that so far. Let's go down here now. Over two. Additional. Three. Another three. Have that. So three, 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 one. Up here it's three, three, two, two. Up there it's three, three, two, one. Bring this one over four, total of four. We're at placing three. Three blocks there. Three right here. And look at that. And then that's done. Now fill in your glass blocks. Put all your glass in there. And I do want to check one more thing because these should be lining up right there. So let me just check those over here. And we're almost there. So that's total, okay, so that should be a total of four. I, I was a little mistaken there. So we're just going to break one block. Let's go back over here. So little mistakes, little mistakes happen. So now it should be four, three, three, two out there. Now fill this all in with the glass, glass panes and everything. Okay, now let's go inside here and picture all the glasses inside here. All the glass panes are done. All you did all that outside work. Get your white concrete out and each time we can't go any higher, we're going to go to this corner right here. And you're just going to line the inside of it. What I'm doing right here is a little hard to do if you haven't done the glass already. Just picture the glasses on both sides. It goes right to there, that level. Inside here. Bring this up. It'll be right here. Lines up with that corner. Down here. Goes up to that point there. Yes, it's a little tricky if you haven't already done the outside part. Oopsies. Should line up with this corner. Go down here, bring this up, hits there, and that goes there, here, here. There's no explaining what I'm doing right now, just watch. And this one can actually stop um, right here, but it doesn't really matter because it's going to become part of the spire. So fill that all in, and we are going to do the final piece, which is the spire, and we are going to finish one Vanderbilt. So stick around, and we will finish this thing. Okay, that's all filled in, and let's finish this thing off. i um, really excited. Let's get the spire on here. As you see, I did do the exterior, did all the stuff that I was speaking that I would do off camera. I did a little bit of additional work. So I did do the inside up here, uh, and you'll see what I mean. I have each and every, like interior floor part done up here uh, that's because it is for the night time so it looks good at night definitely have to have that part of the building done even if you're not doing interior for the rest of the building I would have it definitely the top done uh, so let's let's look what I did here and I didn't really even follow my own rules for right here I didn't 
didn't do this part right here. I'll just do this and explain what I did. I'm fixing that right now. Okay, so what I did is at every level where you have one of these, like a flat one like that, I laid floors there. And it's a half slab with the, the andesite or stone. I meant to use stone originally, but andesite was fine too when I was looking at it. So you want to start with doing those floors, line it up with these ones right here, you the four, four right here. And then in between I had like a lot of room because that would be a whole floor. So what I did is I found the center, which I went uh, two and a half down. So right here, I counted this as a block. So I said one, two, three, and then I had a floor right here. That was like one, two, three, a floor right there. So there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that I laid. That makes the core of the building. And then I went up here. And so we already had this block place from before. Remember, I was doing the inside columns. So go down a block and then place this white smooth quartz along the edge. And then the andesite around, which is a two by two, two by two. And then right here, I have the, the ladder. So it, that's why it's that material right there. I had the ladder in the middle. So you can get to the top and service the building. So we're up here. Now we're going to make the spire. Let's break what we had here. So I don't confuse anybody. Get your iron out and we're going to do a pattern. We're going to go every other with this material. So iron and white concrete. Place that two by two of the iron. And we're going to do this five times. We're going to do the white concrete two five times. So just pay attention here what I'm doing. I'm not going to do any counting. Not really necessary right now. We have four concrete so far. One more of the iron and then white concrete will be the top one right here first level right there now since we have that first piece I want to do uh, a little detailed thing right here so what we'll need is we're going to need the andesite wall actually no not andesite wall the one next to it, diorite wall place one right here one right here. We need a step, the quartz step, the smooth quartz step. Place it right there in your inventory or wherever. Put one upside down here, one upside down there. Connect these to the end. Like that. Let's go up now. We're going to go up a little bit and get your diorite wall back out. Take this block and put it on the edge. And yes, even the spire is a little angled, has an angle to it. We have that so far. Now take that diorite wall, place an additional two right here, one right there, another two, I mean, well, two right there, of course, and get your white glass out, white glass paint out. I have the gray out, so let me get the white one. Place two. This will continue much higher up, but I'm just trying to do it level by level. Now iron back out, place the layer right here, white concrete layer right there. And now we're going to go an additional three with the iron. So let's do this. I'm only counting the iron right now with the white concrete. So we have three iron there and an additional white concrete. What does that mean? We placed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Total of eight blocks there, with the white one being the white concrete. So it just switches out every other texture you see. Go up here. Get your diorite wall out. Place one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And right here again, iron. And there will be one, two, three, four, five, five of these. So one, two, three, four. And then the beacons. Like that. And now, we just topped out one Vanderbilt. If you were able to finish and get to this point, good job, pat on the back. This is probably one of the hardest tutorials to make. 
and I would say you're very good at following along if you were able to build it. Let's go down here. We're not done though. I want to add a few details that I said from before. Go to this door right here. And break these. Actually, leave that middle one there. Oops. Doorway right here. Uh, and I want to actually make it stop right at the gray. So the doorway right there. Doorway is right here. There is one right here as well. That one's done, that one's done. And I believe that's all of them. Of course there's some over here, but I don't know what this side looks like in real life. So maybe if I were to do interior, I'll fix that in the future. But yes, that is one of Vanderbilt. I hope you all like how it turned out. I hope that the white um, the white lights up, that you guys light your white up, I mean, which is the edge of here uh, with the light block. Now, I will do a real uh, quick command for you to show you what to do if you want to have the lights at night. You know how it lights up like that? So let me do that really quick. Backslash give at self light block underscore the block number 15 15 look at that and then just place this on the edges like you know on the edge of the of the building let me clear that out I'm not sure if everybody knows that light blocks exist but yes they do exist and now you know how to do it and let's make it light time or daytime well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, this tutorial. There will be more in the future. I'm not done with tutorials yet. I just take a while to make them because there's so much detail that goes into them. And I'm, I'm hoping you all like how this turned out. I guess that is everything for today. Be sure to like and comment below. This was a very hard job, a hard tutorial to make. So I would uh, appreciate if you would leave a like and a comment and help others below if they have any questions. Uh, that is all for today, as I said. Be sure to check out all the links and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next Minecraft video. It's been JuicyTest201 signing out.